hunting down and eliminating the threats of the paranormal, such as vampires, werewolves, witches, necromantic cults, cults in general, and, you know, sometimes doing regular, like, guard duty, depending on the situation. Anybody even cares to of... yeah, hello to? That's the real question. Hey, I, mean, I have to do it for no the YouTubes. But, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, like, pretend that there's people here. And uh, there I, I feel like we're going to, ed- I feel like someone's going to edit this for YouTube, so then we can get things going more. I mean, Make our own channel. Brilliant. Yeah. So. Just posting it on, uh, YouTube, like last time. <laughs> I mean, yep. Like so, stream it from <laughs> well, welcome to. I can't believe my boss is a skeleton in a fantasy inquisition. <laughs> I am your dungeon master, Slick, and with me are a bunch of amazing weirdos here to play Dungeons and Dragons. Hello. Hi, I'm amazing weirdo number one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know. I think oh. uh, Amazing Weirdo like number one it. is given to Syl because he was the first person that I met out of the group. I have my box of dice. Ah, uh, yes, we have the dice goblin. Dice. <laughs> Actually, everyone here's a dice goblin. Except me, I don't have any physical dice. I don't. I have, I have, have one. I have physical dice, dice but I'm not one. gonna roll it. I should most likely be watching the stream because that's where the uh, I table is. Sword, not dice. <laughs> my dice hate me. I rolled it a few times. Granted, I don't have a proper desk, so I did it on my you look fine, laptop so... turret table oh, and fucking okay. rolled all yeah. below like eight. <laughs> I I almost <laughs> forgot to mute Twitch. <laughs> Because that's so weird. I was like, why am I hearing everyone echo? I'm like, oh wait, I'm watching Twitch. Don't you do that. That's bad. It's right. very bad. Well, we've uh, shared it out, so I guess we'll start with introducing particular characters. Uh, if once the campaign give starts. Me a second to switch <laughs> it over. Don't worry, I. That too. Yes, that. Yes, just let us know when you've switched over, because there is time delays. Yeah, I'm just making sure everybody has water. I have, I have I tea. Probably grab a second water bottle because I go through water like a no tomorrow. So I shall be back in a minute. I don't know about you, but my voice is. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, if Listen. we're going over three hours, we could take a break midway through for, you know, bathroom. But I don't know how long the yes. DM has planned us for tonight. Three to four hours. Three to four hours. All right, then at the one and a half to two oh. hour mark, I will, you know, bathroom break. No, we are going straight through. Fuck. <laughs> Just remember, I'm the only person here with, like, you know. Oh, don't parents. worry. About... Parents. So if I mute myself, Hi. that's why. <laughs> hey, I, I have parents. They're, they're upstairs. No, nah, we're we're all rogues here. We don't have parents. It's the rogue. I'm your dungeon master. I, 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 I uh... all all <laughs> rogues. The rogues aren't allowed to have parents, according to one shot questers. <laughs> I, mean... I have to return. Well, I well screw one shot questers. I have a oh. rogue with family. I I know it. I, it's I not, it's family, not, it's not even it's just bad me. writing. It's not even because I'm edgy. It's just bad writing. I always kill off my characters. I'm too lazy to put on the screen. It's not angst, that's lazy writing, there's a difference. Jacob is better than Edgar. <laughs> oh no, let's... Let's... Oh. Let's... <laughs> don't, that's, let's that's just... that's everybody unsubscribed. <laughs> Let, let's jump into the episode before we start getting things too crazy. Yeah, that's the oldest flame war in the book. <laughs> no, that would be Avatar's yeah. not an anime. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, uh, let's, oh, let's not get into that. I know how bad that can go. Let's Hello, not. That is true, though. You got that, uh, fucking... Uh, the only one not here is NG. I feel like we should ping him. Alright, then, um... Probably should ping him if anybody hasn't. 
No, I pinged him. He's earlier. He said he's still with family, but we'll join the second he can. Sorry. Yeah. So I. So what I'm saying is, we'll keep. We'll start. I have ways to get him into the campaign, in with his character as fluid as possible, so we don't have to worry. Because it's a robot. It's a robot butler. Allow me to make you comfortable. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he does something for us, I'm just going to shoo him away and say I'm satisfied with my care like he's Baymax. <laughs> oh, jeez. of 1 to 10, how well was my service? Uh, zero, because I didn't get serviced. Rip. This is, this is the USSR. You know hey, man, that's for Thursday. <laughs> if you wanted to get serviced, you could have just asked me. Let's I not! <laughs> Let's just I'm sorry, what the fuck was that voice? We are a girl. <laughs> you don't need to know. Yeah. We are That's two grown men. I, I want to know. Oh, you're so warm. Couldn't help but know. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh. My oh. muscles oh. are neck and wet and still there, Miss Tilda. Why, why, why? Why is this I, I am <laughs> upset. One of the few voices I kept over the years without even me trying or meaning to is my stereotypical anime schoolgirl voice and it upsets me greatly. I like the same mess. Why? That is the first thing I, I hear that. when I come back. Why? Yeah, I think it's the same mess. Alright, I'm done. People Sorry. See, you know, be done I think yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm pretty sure already. Uh... So that's going to be minus brownie points on that one. <laughs> But my brownie minus, points. sorry, minus DM points. <laughs> okay. Uh. It, and if you get too many DM points, I'm going to make it it's so that I can make one of your rolls just have disadvantage no matter what. I don't need no help. Leave me alone. <laughs> you have disadvantage <laughs> on this save so, check against a friendly pair of air So reverse inspiration if you piss off the DM. <laughs> yes. If you piss yeah. off the DM, I, you I shall die. Think of it like <laughs> pissing off the I'll white I'll be right mage. back. You don't piss off the white mage if you want to live. This, you know what? I like this because you can have moments where, yeah, no, you're kind of screwed around too much. Here, Here's on your next roll a disadvantage. While yeah. on the uh, plus side, if you do really good or do something that's like rather uh, unique. What, what you don't want me to do is say, okay, I'm pulling out sparkles. Uh, <laughs> Rosa doesn't know who Sparkles is. No, Let, let's let's not bring Sparkles. Yeah. No. Uh... Yes, both Dread and Syl know so the tale of Sparkles. That's nice. I have a paper towel over it, the damper it, so it doesn't hit my eyes, and I have it bit down over some, so it's facing more to my desk, and you can still see my face fine. That's all you need. Wow. That's well, this for you. Now, let's let's get into this episode, shall we? Yeah. We're start we're starting this as a official campaign. This started off as a one shot and everyone was just like, I love this so much. Let's make it into a campaign and I'm just here like Oh frick. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I signed myself over. I decided, screw it. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's go. The wonders of being a permanent DM. Before designer. Yeah. Yep, the curse of being a permanent DM. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I love it. Anyways. Start crying. <laughs> so, so, our group is from the far continent of Alastra. A very beautiful, yet dangerous place to... It depends on who you ask, though, for that part. Many people live a life of peace and quiet. Just fishing, gambling away their life's earnings. But then you have those who would tell you it's not the nicest place. And those are where our heroes come from. The Leonkin. A group of special warriors 
set on hunting down and eliminating the threats of the paranormal, such as vampires, werewolves, witches, necromantic cults, cults in general, and, you know, sometimes doing regular, like, guard duty, depending on the situation, but that's how it goes in the life of of a mercenary nation. And our group, at least most of the group, is return, returning a from a recent expedition out to the port town of Tilla. Returning to their homestead in in Exaw. Ah, ah. I can't even pronounce my own name. You're going to see how well this campaign goes. <laughs> Neat. Like Back that. to their town of Exala. Where their homestead lays about a, a quick hour's trip outside of. And from there, we are to introduce a few of our characters. Starting with Brad and Rosa. Would you like to go fast? As you step out. Yep. Uh, and you're currently inside of the very luxurious and roomy carriage that is currently being drawn by two night owl horses. It's specialized it's the, horses so with night vision. And I'm sitting on, right? Yes, you are currently. You're currently I sitting on the bench. I'm going to do the most bored-looking thing that I can do, and to everyone else who's viewing the situation, there is now there's a kobold that's just kind of laying like somewhat upside down with his like his feet on the back of the chair, sitting next to um this uh to he who he considers not only like his greatest <laughs> friend, but also the person who he owes his life to. But he just he's just looking absolutely bored. His hands are just kinda of hanging over his head and he's just like he's real he's like he's like around like three feet. So he's not very big. He's just tiny. But to everyone else who has ex- already seen him, they already seen how not only agile he is, but rather shockingly, he carries a little bit of a charge. But he looks absolutely bored as shit. Are you a Pikachu? No, he's you forget he's Pikachu? small. He's a Pichu. What are these things? It's more like an <laughs> electric because it's a lizard. Oh, true. <laughs> and electric's not even a lizard. <laughs> what the? What the so hell are you three talking next about? To him. Kind of just relaxing. Probably half asleep, too. Just, you know, like, napping with her eyes closed. Is a seven-foot-tall, furball-looking lady who is about as muscular as an orc with a teal-greenish fur and two orc tusks protruding from her lower lips with golden eyes. And orc like ears. <laughs> and, well, more, yeah, orc like ears, and she's got kind of like a fox like mask on, where it has holes for her tusk to protrude from. Oh yes, everyone. Everyone's characters is usually wearing masks. Yeah, which I for my little guy, I'm ending wearing like it looks like the lower half of this, um, sort of wolf skull like thing is kind of covering the top half, and there's a gas mask that's kind of connected to the lower jaw that kind of wraps around my own lower jaw. I have a dice cam oh. I've set up on the live stream. So it looks odd, but you know, whatever works in this superstitious age of you need a mask for everything. 
It's worked out very well with our reason pandemic. So here at Delta Industries, we like to practice the safety laws and codes. <laughs> <laughs> Even in character. <laughs> uh, and from there, about halfway across, we see the, a uh, another character doing some more tinkering with their equipment. A rather large cannon compared to their small stature. As a mechanical raven sits on top of their head. Holding a few tools. Still, would you like to introduce your character? Yeah. Um, my character's name is Styx. She is a goblin artificer. Um, and as he said, I'm always tinkering with a big old cannon the size of her. Um, as for a mask, um, think of it like a steampunk-esque Plague Doctor's mask, if you will. And, yeah, she is an investigator by trade before doing whatever the heck she is doing now. The little uh, steampunk mechanical raven buddy. These are like A-plus introductions right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be fair so work. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. With the lowest. I'm going to break that trend in a second. <laughs> yes, at, towards, at the front of the carriage, we have two figures. One is being playfully harassed by another. Skeletor and Red. Look for the one shot. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Why don't you get it, bro? Too bad. It's too late. You, you already explained to me the reasoning, yeah, but you still have to, to go along with it. <laughs> but you still have to go along with it now. You told me in your backstory, and now Whatever. you have to go along with it. See, <laughs> kids, <laughs> this is why we come up with the character traits on the fly. He's just like, okay, you know what, bet. So, Edward, so my character, he's like six, he's six foot three, blonde. He wears a greenish, what? A, yeah, the, those, those are the colors, right? A greenish, yeah. uh, mottled green and dark brown, uh, duster kind of cloak thing. He's human, and mm -hmm. he's just playfully circling his finger on uh, the shoulders of skeleton over here. Mac, I remembered the name, and my yeah. character's name is Edward. I don't think I'm the only person who said my character. Oh wait, nope, nope. I'm the second person to say my character's name. Oh yeah, I forgot my character's name. <laughs> I just <laughs> forgot your character's name, by the way. I was <laughs> waiting to I was waiting to see the only ones to say our character names. It's, it's glorious. I mean, yes. Within reason, I didn't feel like I should go into the character's name yet until I'm actually asked for it. I mean, they so. have images of the people we're describing with their names next to it. It's we're taking well. I'm assuming this is taking place after the one shot, since we're in the carriage together. Yes, this is taking right. place after the one shot. Probably. And because my actions are freaking canon now, so yeah, you better introduce your names. We're too deep into this now. Oh, I'm you the kobold. Oh, the I'm uh, Alejandro, the purple orc druid of the party. Yes. I then, am. Yes, we just have. A skeleton paladin, kind of weird. Yes, I'll know more. Uh, that wears a steampunk modern day gas mask, has a uh, sledgehammer for a mall, is wearing scale mail, and has a rubber ducky that goes squeak squeak. Rubber ducky, you're the. <laughs> okay, Bert. And again, you two are current. One is currently teasing the other, so take you it away. Leave me alone, I'll throw you off the carriage. <laughs> oh, you're gonna throw me then? I'll aim for a tree. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I guess my kid is also like gonna be focusing on the masses of amounts of paperwork. I'm assuming he still has. 
Yes. Dirty thing still is paperwork. I have a I have paperwork a stack the size of the kobold in the group. I am the party <laughs> scribe. I I worry about all the facts, <laughs> lore of the monsters we fight, and all of the paperwork. I'm just the Inquisitor's secretary. <laughs> and you flirt with the Inquisitor. And I flirt with the Inquisitor because what else is a secretary supposed to do as a cliche? <laughs> 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 that feels like something that would be like like off to the side like the office sort of like shit right there I'm being held at gunpoint to play this role <laughs> <laughs> maybe by slick but not me it's just no one else wanted to be the scribe so he took the bullet oh no no the scribe I totally wanted yeah no nah. I will not at first, but I don't mind it at all. It makes sense. Oh. My character has the highest intelligence in the group, so. Yes, and he does. he's also the werewolf. Hey, Cash. hey, hey. Shh. <laughs> hey. Spoilers. Hey. Spoilers. Isn't the artificer the smartest person in this group? Are they? I'm a, I'm a blood hunter. We have intelligence as well. Well, the oh, thing okay. is, uh, she's uh, intelligent in a uh, crafting and engineering thing. Yeah, she's sorry, I completely forgot to unmute myself. Um, <laughs> I do have 20 intelligence if that counts. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm a little yeah, bit lower yeah. than that. I'm a little lower than well, that. Well, anywho, sir. Do you have intelligence? <laughs> okay, look, I was also trained in, like, monster lore, so look. <laughs> uh, there is logic for everyone. There's logic for I'm everyone. I'm trained in explosions and investigation. I'm just very good at fighting. So, uh, I'm trained in the lore of monsters. I'm trained in mechanical engineering. I like to punch stuff, says the kobold. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, to be fair, I don't punch stuff. I poke stuff very sharply. He's, he's and then the eyeballs zip zap. Yeah, it, there's a, it's, it's not really shocking, you know? I'm just gonna, Evola's just gonna lift her hand up, and then she's just gonna pat the kobold's head. Why do you do this to me? Because you like it, and you're adorable. They're not adorable. I just find you adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shut up, you. No. You're yeah, it's quite adorable though. when you're trying to climb that wolf creature. Eh? Never mind. I'm just climb on its back. I... Oh, it was very fun to be swung around. And of course, I would. I face palm I, I, and continue to the paperwork. I I don't really enjoy getting smacked into the bony face of the skeleton dude, though. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't get backhanded by a big dog. <laughs> I got swung into you with by the big dog. So who's the bigger dog? Me. <laughs> wait, wait, Me. I saw you running away from the thing. I didn't run away though. You, you were moving away from it. <laughs> because it wanted to eat me. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, it seems like there's another one who wants to eat your bones, so. Yeah, Edward's just gonna mm. look at him and, look at him and say, well, you do look rather tasty. <laughs> I'm hiding behind the fur bulb now. The fur bulb is leaning against the fucking car. Who's driving dude? this thing then? <laughs> I get on the other side of the fur bulb. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm driving now. Edward takes over the reins and he's like, shotgun. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the You're already. There's someone else already driving the carriage. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'm just. I want to get home now. Look and be like, <laughs> <sighs> this is a long ride home. I'm just gonna scoff and just go, nerds. <laughs> Even though I'm the nerd of the group. As he says that, when the scribe's doing all the paperwork, glasses tips. Oh uh, yes, actually. Uh, hey, you want to make the first roll of the campaign? Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait, me? Uh, yes, you. I want you uh -oh. to roll an intelligence check. Uh, oh. 
This is just to catch up with the paperwork. Good I luck. Think they can see, but I roll my stuff through server bots. Yeah, I have a uh, dice cam set up to my actual dice on stream, and currently I'm picking out all the D6s out of all the right. box. That There's is a 14 roll. from the bot. Yep. That's a pretty good roll. Good roll for the first one. So you're, you're able to get the paperwork. Uh, a, a little bit distracted from from the uh, commotion and such from the rest of the party, but you're able to get through your massive pile of paperwork first before you make it back to the homestead. It's just hard to take my eyes off the Inquisitor. Shut. I give you more. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful now, he's gonna pile up so much paperwork you can't see him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please no. I, I missed out on something, so I'm just going to just The Cobal is just going to like kinda of roll over and just kinda of relax now in a more normal like way. But he's just kinda of <laughs> hiding at his like knees while sitting on the uh bench and the just sort of like not drumming a good beat, he's just bored. Do you want a rubber ducky? Rubber? What the hell's a rubber ducky? This is a rubber duck. <laughs> you never seen them before? Squeak. It goes squeak, squeak. <laughs> and... huh. it, I guess it Why does go squeak. Okay. Deck of cards. I guess I don't have a deck of cards. Oh well. I now have you a have drum, a... apparently. You have a deck of cards. You're the one who pulled them out during the one shot. No, that that was me actually, but I, I changed oh. out my stuff. I now have a pan flute, which I'm going to play <laughs> since I finished I the paperwork. Doing paperwork. I just What's finished. I got a 14. Okay. Are you finished oh. at the end of the trip? Oh god, so I am still doing paperwork. <laughs> you are still doing paperwork. I can pull out my small three pound drum that I apparently have and play it. Performance check for me, please. Check. That's a D20, yes. That's a D20. D20 plus your charisma and if you're proficient. Alright. Would you guys like me to use my orc blood dice or a different dice? Uh go with the orc blood. Alright. You are part part orc so after I all. Performance which is plus one. A 15. Let me move that into uh, camera for you guys. A total of 15. No, I got 15 plus 1, so that's a total of 16. 16. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you play, you play the song of your people on the drums. Can I play with you the song of my people? I will now play the song of my people. Starts playing a war beat. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> here's Wonderwall, exactly. So, so as as she's performing, um, you are all you go through the town of Exala, or should I say the city? More of it's a vast, beautiful city, but right now you only see the walls of it as. You're about an hour outside of it. It at a nice walking pace. The homestead is rather large. It's like a a medium sized mansion in terms of the central building, along with all of the other. And then you have all the other stables. You have all the guard posts and all. Of the like really powerful wartime stuff. Um with all the other soldiers within the ceremonial dark green with brown leather accents, much like the rest of the party. And you get through the large uh metal gates. It's as oh well, they open it up upon your approach. And you see the, the large, dark brown stain, 
wood stained cast castle like building and at the front of it at the top of the stairs near the doors you see a figure that you've seen before talking with with the uh, butler of the house as you all step out and and the other pe people and servants around grab your stuff and take them back i would like halo to introduce himself all right so i am playing the human ranger trevelli and adar uh he actually is wearing uh He's certainly not in the uniform of the Inquisition deal we're a part of. So he actually has a, a sort of bluish jacket with some white accent marks that are kind of fluffy around. And he also has a dandelion yellow cape that he also wears. And along... His back is strapped a rifle that is actually quite ornate. It has a scope and seems to be way more advanced than your average musket. And the doesn't even is... look exactly like a musket either. And he also immediately notices you all. Who's this clown? What what is all this colorful getup doing in this depressing place? Edward's just gonna like bump into him and be like, "It's no way to talk to someone as an inquisitor." I'm undead. Leave me be. <laughs> Roll is gonna decide. Who are you? And state your business. Valley Nadar. And I'm told you might need extra help hunting things down. Yes. And you are one of the guards, or...? He looks rather new here, so probably not. He looks like more paperwork. Oh, you definitely know you're getting that paperwork. <laughs> well... As far as my role, I'm actually not officially a part of this Inquisition. More of a special consultant slash help. Are you a noble son or something? Well, no, actually. Absolutely not a noble. Hmm. Okay. You know, Can yeah. I roll a history yeah. check on his name or something? And then, well, while you uh, do that, if I'm you gonna... want. Yeah, while you do that, know, I'm just gonna... I want to know if sorry. I can recognize his character as someone special as why they would allow him to be a consultant. Oh, yeah, wait. I just if, realized if I, forgot. I keep for... forgetting what my rank includes. I might if you want to do that, go ahead. And since you're doing that, I'm just gonna pipe up and just be like, well, you know, consultant's not entirely unheard of. That's kind of how I started. I used to be a private investigator before they were like, oh, by the way, you Two. work for us now. Okay, well, uh, the Rolled name a does... a 16 in history. Okay, so a... for those of you who <laughs> rolled a 2... I got an 8. For those of you who, for those of you who rolled very low, uh, yeah, they know the name is not ringing any bells. Someone it's just me. like, it's just like, it's just like it's hitting your, the front of your forehead, it's not going through, it's not sinking in. Does uh, Treya have anything to do with this? I'm asking in <laughs> character, I'm asking him. Uh, Treya is the head of the house, pretty much the person in charge, and yes, she is the reason why you're here. Halo. Yeah. And Looks like he's probably another person. Whatever. Yep. What about the person who rolled a 16? I was actually just about to say, Halo, does your name have any historical events tied to it? Or is it just you happen to get it good graces? Okay, so uh, the Adars are basically, they aren't nobles. They are actually a family 
who is well renowned as hunters and trackers of just about anything. Uh, typically, they just act as hunters around their hometown, but and do just deer hunting stuff like that. Uh, however, they have also been occasionally brought in to track down criminals and more dangerous creatures simply because they have excellent tracking abilities and hunting skills. So oh, they are expert hunters, though. No one really officially knows why they are so good. Or at least the average person doesn't know why. Right. I remember about like 140 years ago, I met your one of your great, 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 great grandparents. They tried to shoot me. <laughs> uh, I guess that would kind of explain some things about him. What? <laughs> Makes as sense. You're all, as you're all conversing, the uh, butler is uh, flicked back, hair gray on the side, black on the top. Slender body just go back into the uh, into the mansion while you are all conversing out here. He doesn't call any of you, but he's just slinking away. I am satisfied with my care. <laughs> satisfied oh, Lord. With my care. But yeah, my kid is gonna talk to uh, Trayvalin. Is that what your name is? Oh, yeah. So I'm su I'm assuming that's where I got it from. I was talking to Slick earlier about this. It's like I don't know where that name it popped into my head. But um, so Mike is gonna ask you um, if Trey had anything to do with this. To which apparently the answer is yes. Yeah. Do you know where she is? I'm assuming what? I need to file in a report for our completion in the last quest. Is that not the Inquisitor's job? No! <laughs> the it is the Inquisitor's job. Yeah, he, oh, it he is? The, the, inquis the, the Inquisitor and the Scribe go together. You, okay. you two pretty much stick together now. I just wave all the paperwork in your face, and I'm just like, I don't think the Inquisitor can do it without this. <laughs> it's just you waving it around. Like read and write. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun oh, campaign. I was writing this paperwork the entire trip. Don't How take do this moment from me. <laughs> looks looks at the Inquisitor. Did you say food? Because I got a whole snack right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's starting to break his flirtation attempts. Seems like he's laughing too much at himself. <laughs> I can't. It seems like the anxious is getting to him. He's losing his head. Well, like, he's losing he's his head. Cough. He's just going to cough and just... <clears throat> Anyways. Out oh, there it is. Treya. <laughs> Any idea where she is? I'm assuming back in the room? The office? Yes. Whatever it's called? <laughs> yes, yes. Time, to... yes. time to go say hi to the big mean lady. What? About time of the day would it be? It's midday. You're. It's so about lunchtime. Yeah, it is in fact lunchtime. Oh so yes, the mess hall is, is open. I knew. I'm going to head to the. Yes, I'm just gonna like look down to my goblin friend and go. Now I go to the goblin, and yep. the kobold, and I'm gonna go. Food. Yes. Food. I am hungry. Fighting all. Bartholomew's been replaced by sticks. Depression. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you. Really I'll, I'll join you guys later. I How can you even it. eat? As like as Bartholomew <laughs> starts walking towards. Yeah, it just, towards... The mess hall <laughs> yeah, just starts walking to the the mess hall as well. I don't shooting that. He eats. I think he's just saying he's going to join the rest of us. You know, being. Oh, I I I can eat. Just magical. Do you need no. to eat? What? No. I'm not even going to question that. You're already weird enough as it is. Can you taste the food? No. What have I eaten? Uh, okay. 
Anyways, Treya, yes. <laughs> He's just gonna, like, <laughs> wink back to the others, put his arm around the uh, Inquisitor's shoulder, and just, like, drag him away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, this I mean, is a lot of date. What? Sorry, what was that, Halo? <laughs> uh, Halo, I didn't hear you. Yeah. yeah. So, Scooch Rebellion just says, well, this is a lovely group, and decides to follow the others into the mess hall. Sounds good. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to deal with uh, Red and Skeletor first. So, Edward and Maxer. Uh, you make your way to the uh, head of house's main office. And... Oh, you just... You're doing her own paperwork. This very large half-orc lady in full plate armor covered in a the dark green cloak. With her dragon, her small dragon skull mask to the side. And you see her just with a bag in her hand, just seeming to weigh it out as she sees you two enter. Hey, boss! Ah, ah you're back. That was a much quicker journey. <laughs> I, I assume so. That is our job, after all. I skinned it. <laughs> Well, I bet the people down in the science lab would love to uh, enjoy those samples as long as you preserved it correctly. Yeah, that's what we Magic, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, there, the hide is in basically evidence bags, as and the blood is in like a sealed vial. Um, it, 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 by the way, um, it can conduct electricity. Uh, the cobalt found that out very badly. It can also insulate oh, no. itself against it. Yes. That is... I'm going to have to consult with some higher-ups about that. That does sound familiar to me, but I just don't know exactly at the moment. Don't forget, it didn't care yeah. about silvered weapons either. Oh yeah, um, silver didn't work against it. Um, it was also really big and white. Yeah, just silver looking. I will definitely have. Uh, Edward. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I'm going to need you to copy your final report for me. I need to send it over to the people at Leona. Right. No need for apologies. It'll be done. Thank you. I do. I did a history check on this thing. Well, um, I I could have sworn I found out its name. I think I don't remember though. Uh, you did not do a history check on it. So, no. oh, well, not not a history. I'm sorry, not a history. I did an arcana. Never mind. Yeah. I was uh, going to do a history and then we killed you... it. <laughs> yeah. And your arcana check did not during that one shot did not tell you much about it. Yeah, I did not. So a lot of so uh, she has uh, some uh, hands of hers uh, send it down to the science departments in one of the lower chambers of the mansion. And she looks at you two with a grin that get, uh, Maxer recognizes as possibly oh, more work. Oh shit, I don't don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't worry, you'll have a break. But someone really wants a job done, and I think your group might just be the group for it. Yeah. Well, I say they really want it done because they sent us a bag of... Well, she opens up the small bag. Inside you see 100 platinum pieces. Take the job. I, I can't refuse. Ugh.
testing out new designs. And we, from what it sounds like, it could just be sirens. However, some parts are saying it's a bit more than just sirens. So. Kraken, I'm gonna cry. I highly doubt it's a Kraken. So they want they have a few points of investigation and they have a list of possible groups that are responsible a lot of things come from again on on ship a bunch of unsettled spirits but they believe that there is again someone targeting them so, we'll give you a, the day to eat, refresh, before we send you to Exala to meet our contact there. Okay. The, the Grand Commission is from every kingdom, including Leona. So, so I will ask... involved in this target. Yes, so whatever's going on is a big deal. It's our job to investigate. We have much more on the line this time than just the port town of Tilla or Ixala. So don't let us down. Please. Have we ever? <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have a few things against Mr. Maxer in that regards, but I will not go into detail. Just go look at him and just be, and then just be like, never mind. Have I ever? <laughs> you I have mean... been, you have been very good to me. You have had your downsides, but that's beyond the point. Have you seen a skeleton sweat before? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, it, I mean, is currently, it is currently lunch, so if you if you want to make your way down to the mess hall, I bet your friends are already there. Yeah, they are. Alexander keeps good taps on everyone. And yes, he is preparing a food for you, Mr. <gasps> Max. The butler, I assume, yes. Yes! <laughs> well, Alexander knows exactly what he wants. And he's currently the only other one on site that knows how to do it. Our other master chef... He got terminated. He did oh, What happened to him? He got bit by a vampire. Oh. I can't relate. <laughs> I guess I say that. Edward's just gonna, like, slowly shudder. And then put a hand to his left shoulder. And like just uh, rub that with the neck area. The neck and shoulder area there. Now I still have some more work to complete. More paperwork and everything. Uh, before you leave, Edward, please, with that copy of the report. It'll be done. I'll work on it tonight. After I Thank eat. You. And don't eat him. Good day. <laughs> oh, I would never lick lips. <laughs> See, if, if, if eyes could pierce the soul, that's what she looks like right now. <laughs> he just gives out my... He, he does the, the Flint Rider from Tangled. He does the smolder. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, no effect. <laughs> <laughs> Smolder. Uh, Smolder slowly goes away and he just like puts a hand to the back of his head and starts scratching his neck <laughs> so well, dinner <laughs> yes so while that's all going on I'm sorry to cut you off there, there uh, we are going to catch up with uh, the rest of the party at the mess hall so right now so, uh, Vola, Bartholomew, Styx, and Trevalin 
are entering the mess hall. It's peak, uh, it's peak food time, pretty much. It's very loud and chaotic. Or even though this is like very, very serious group, they they know how to have fun. They already have bards, bards on the stage performing. You have of little bots carrying around food trays, drink trays. And and well, you know where the line starts? So what are they serving in the mess hall? Uh perception check. Perception check. Okay. <laughs> They're serving yeah. perception. Man, man, times like this makes me miss my uh hey dumbass ability. Okay, Perception. I was digging through my dice, and you know something I realized? I have two of these semi-opaque confetti D4s that I have, like, two fucking... No, not D4s. D8s? Then I have two D4s of these blue and gold confetti stuff with, like, a D10. My perception check ended up being a 23, so I'm like, I can see all and the like, food, I and my poor little cobalt is just... Me, food, 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 food. I am hungry. Oh, let's see what everyone else gets. Oh, shit, my passive oh. perception is three. Uh, what the fuck? I get it. Rebellion has a uh, nine or 13. Passive perceptions uh, of four, 16. Uh, passive my perception. Passive I don't count my, passive perception unless you have searched for it right after a certain amount of time. So, in terms of this situation, you cannot use passive. That's lame. Nine. But, all right. Uh, seven. <laughs> so I told you, like you should know from my last campaign or last campaign, I heavily rely on the passives because my rolls are ass. <laughs> I know. At the food that's in the mess hall, does does it need to be a high DC before that? No, you are all are fine. I just wanted to make you roll anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, I rolled a nat <laughs> one, so... so. I rolled a three, but I have a plus six to my perception. So, so but I rolled what, a one. What, you guys, what you guys see is a bunch of meats, salads, potatoes, tomatoes, all the very good food. And then you... And, Brad, I'm just going to say this. Your nose catches a... A larger table behind where there's a bunch of sweets. Also, question. Are there pretzels? <laughs> there are pretzels. I'm going to grab two plates because I know... Actually, I'm going to grab a plate and then to assist my smaller cobalt friend who has issues to reaching the plates and stuff, I'm just going to pick him up one by one arm, kind of football carry him, and let him make his plate that way. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, Trevelyan uh, makes a beeline for the pretzels and immediately grabs two. Or three. I got kind of like a chicken salad thing going on. And what about you, Sil? Uh, sorry, give me one sec. So, well, first off, I'm just gonna... While I go and grab a bunch of, um... meats and stuff, because it's goblin, <laughs> I'm just gonna comment and be like, man, all this commotion almost makes me miss the sticks detective agency. Yeah, it's just haven't got anywhere. And then go and grab meats, of course, because food. It, it, the kobold is just like eagerly like trying to get as much food on his plate as he can. Because despite his small more... size, he is he's a hungry little bastard. She's going to look <laughs> down at him and be like, "Don't take more than what you can eat. You can always come back for seconds." And... <laughs> And, um, well, he just kind of looks up at her and then just starts devouring what's on his plate once he gets to the table. 
and it's stuck clean. <laughs> yeah, it, no, there's plenty of spots. They they make sure there's at least like 300 people in the mess hall at the moment. Here it all. Yeah. He was already getting messy from the way he's yeah, eating. He, like he's, he's just... just eating messily, and I'm I'm over here eating like with a bit more manners and being cleaner about it. Yeah, so Trevelyan's actually going to sit next to Vola, and uh, he eats his pretzels cleanly, but uh, also very fast. Despite his small size, uh, those just they just disappear. I'm just imagining Monster Hunter style. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is um, uh, he actually yeah, asks, yeah. so, who are you guys? Hey, I'm Bartholomew. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> Um, um, yeah. This is, this. and I am Styx, our little group's commissar, uh, former private detective investigator, and now a cannon toting official. And something to note: um, she's eating like remarkably refined for a goblin. Just a little side note. Huh. So your weapons engineer. Yes. Oh, um, a tinkering is part of my trade. So we do. Helps with finding out, in for example, what killed this person or what caused this uh, burn stuff like that, as well. Well, I guess that's useful in your line of work. I actually have a friend who is sort of like you. Always oh, okay. building weapons. Such as this. And he pats his rifle. And... She's probably still back at home. Continuing to work on upgrading our village's defenses. Yep. Uh, I can definitely see that. That has remarkable craftsmanship. Um, myself, I built the... My little raven friend here, and my weapon's a choice out in the field. Yeah. Uh, very cannon still very useful in a uh, ten fodder situation. You excuse the pun. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, is going to finish eating her salad. And with the plate, she's going to get up, and then she's going to walk over to the sweets table. And are, All right, what so, type of cakes are on the table? Uh, there are donuts. There's uh, custard. There's, there's a vanilla cake, chocolate cake, and a strange uh, green cake. Cake. Okay. And a slice of the chocolate cake. One moment, my cat is being noisy. So Trevelyan will, uh, once Vola returns, he will actually ask her uh, what she does in this group. I heal. Huh. I make sure. Okay. Idiots do not die. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to taste the green cake first. You taste the salad. Wait, is it salad it's cake? It's a salad cake. Okay, what I'm going to do is because I know Marzmali you is not a big fan of salad. She's just going to kind of smile, put a small chunk of the green cake onto his plate and go try this. Oh, Trevelyan uh, sniffs oh, it and is oh. like, wait, 
Smells like a fucking salad. Oh, that's like what's salad. wrong with who makes a salad cake? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds horrible. Uh... <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you see a uh, a blue and pink furball just smiling <laughs> at you guys as they put out another one of the green cakes. I know they're multiplying. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the salad cake, and to make up for what I did, I'll put half of the chocolate cake slice onto Bartholomew Jim's plate. Forgive you. Yeah. Meanwhile, Trevelyan's just like, ah, oh, that's the worst thing in the world. I'm no kidding. Salad cake. is gonna I stop. She's gonna stare at Hala. She's gonna take a forkful of the thing and just shove it in his mouth as he's complaining about it. It sticks. It's just there watching. Yeah, I'm just no, uh, kidding. It's my meats. Nicole uh, shoves the like the cake in his face or the chocolate cake. So messy. When Vola oh, finishes eating, and before is done, she's just gonna grab a neck and just start wiping all the shit off his face. <laughs> Do this myself! <laughs> Why? The last time you did this, you ripped the napkin into shreds instead of wiping your face. I got claws! Can't blame me for that! <laughs> that is true. Right. Claws aren't really good for holding napkins. Yep. And as uh, as Vola is cleaning off Bartholomew's face, uh, Edward and Maxer enter and find you guys. Do 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 do. Yay! <laughs> I'm happy. Red. It went well, I trust. Yeah, we didn't get that. Going to <laughs> yes, but I have to copy down the. I forgot the copy down the monster that we found. I have, to, I have to rewrite the report. Yeah, I have to rewrite the report. Yep. And he just puts another smaller stack of papers next to him, and starts eating a really big slice of the salad cake. And he looks like he's really enjoying it. Well, once you're done with that, I can give you the um fur and blood that we collected so they can yes. take that and do whatever they need with it hell's wrong with you how can you and there enjoy is also that a, uh, a little slightly out of character there's also a, uh, a, a word document so if anybody wants to add monster information to that please yep. do yeah um, i um i added, uh, it has both electric i and will I will make sure to include information as it comes up. Hey, Sorry, uh, thank you. Slick, what's the chef making? Uh, Alexander, well, he has to bring your food out to you separately. He's waiting oh. for you to come home, so then it would be nice and hot. Yeah. yeah. That was going to take a better part of an hour. So when I finish with this paperwork... Would you like to try some of this cake? God, no, that looks awful. You What's wrong with the salad diet. cake? It tastes like a salad. There's nothing wrong with that. Cake shouldn't taste like salad. Carrot cake's good. Blueberry cook, good. Lemon cake, good. Salad, what? You just don't appreciate the greens is what it is. I've been, I've it's an been... abomination of nature, and we're working under a skeleton. 
<laughs> I've been alive for 200 years, animated. I guess you could say he is all bone. He doesn't have enough meat on him. That one was hurt. And, and that's like when I left the table, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my salad are going somewhere else. <laughs> I, I, I grab some milk and just start chugging it. <laughs> through, the, through the small hole. In my mouth. I put a piece I put a piece of the cake through the skeleton's eyes, curious if that counts as eating it. Have my mask on, stop it. You just, you just It just bounces mouth. against your goggles. <laughs> Your mask comes with the goggles, right? If it's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, yes. Yeah, it just bounces oh. with your goggles, and I'm like, oh, rip. I'll try to feed me that abomination. <laughs> he moves yep. to lick it off, but then says, just kidding, and just plucks it off and eats yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You know what would be a very good idea for the salad cake? Food fight. If, if you say dressing, I'm going to kill you. Do not <laughs> start a food fight. We would get in trouble. There, Correction. Those involved would get in trouble. Uh. Every time I speak, I just I just look up from the paper briefly and then immediately go back to writing stuff down. Like just to give an idea of how close the cobalt was actually attempting to start a food fight, he pulls his hand down from the top from the table and from the nearby like salad cake that's nearby him. Yes, meanwhile, Trevelyan will, uh, like, kind of somewhat quietly say to Vola, you've got a weird group here. Oh, you haven't seen my face yet. I take off the mask. <laughs> oh, yeah, because so, that's, like, putting it mildly. <laughs> so, uh, Trevala, what you see is a full-on skeleton face with glowing flame blue eyes and a flame blue essentially tongue. Stop. <laughs> a skeleton. Huh. She's Explain what and then she's gonna lean into travel and go, and that is the leader of our group who talks usually to the woman who hired you. And then he whispers so you work for a bonehead? <laughs> and that. <laughs> I'm gonna stab, point finger guns, go, hey. <laughs> you see the skeleton literally. He whispered that face. to me, so you would have to roll a perception to hear that. You oh, would. Never mind then, I suppose. Bet. I'll roll a perception. Okay. <laughs> Actually, fuck it. Give me my perception. <laughs> Hopefully it's better than mine. I ended up getting a 12. I got a 5. <laughs> I didn't realize my perception only had a plus 2 to it. I think uh, my investigation that is, uh, that is a 19. Uh, yes, Styx definitely does hear it. Edward got, does I not hear it. Do my finger guns go, I got a 12. <laughs> uh, a 12? There you hear 12. something, but you're not sure what it is. Can I, can I just feel as if this is a joke or an insult? Uh, you know it's a joke. I don't know why, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's probably just I making fun of you, as we all do. I'm well aware. Eat. I'm going to grab myself another salad cake, and on the way, I'm going to stop by, and I'm going to compliment the chef on his baking skills on the cake. This this eight foot tall furbolg who has to kind of crouch to be to make sure he doesn't hit his head on the hit, oh, on the rafter. Ten feet taller than me. I'm the smallest furbolg. Those were bring in a work I bet. He's only yeah, eight foot. Is, yeah, yeah I am seven feet because I am only half verbal, half orc, and that's the tallest orc height. Oh, she has yeah. a crush. <laughs> he, he says, Oh, thank you. It took a while, but I actually found out there are a lot of people who prefer to eat salad. And I figured, you know what, let's try to make a cake. And it worked. Well, it is an amazing cake, and I absolutely... 
absolutely love it. Thank you. And thank you. This is the first day doing it, and I've already gone through ten of them. Well, they're quite a popular item. Yes, oh. it's, it's easier to eat a salad when you mix sweets with it. That is very much true. Except for your little friend over there. He didn't seem to like it. The skeleton in the fucking cold water. Like, oh. There's Nicole. Just kind of staring at like the like the one plate that's still on the table that happens to still have like <laughs> like a little bit of it, and he just he looks horrified at it. Like he's just staring at this thing like it's an he abomination. The, the, the skeleton's also like staring at it like that. He'll eat salad normally, but he yeah, most he, prefers he, other type of food. When it comes to cakes, he he's very, very picky when it comes to his cakes. He'll eat salad, but it's kind of like forcing a baby to eat broccoli. their broccoli, yeah. Understandable. But it'll take time. to will get used to it. And make it a normal thing on the menu. I'm very proud of that. Oh, that would be wonderful. I would love to have this again tomorrow. The thing! You even have it later on tonight if you're still around. I hope so. There's a chance we might have got another job already. Oh. We did. Oh, I don't know if I'm with the group or not. You, or uh, you're, uh, you're Rosa is currently at the counter, which is a good 30 feet away. Oh, never mind. Meanwhile, like at the table, the kobold slowly, like, kind of like pokes, pokes at the the cake and just like, I really, I really hope this isn't alive. This okay, um, of, like, I, alive. so, um, you're gonna see me casually, uh, cast purified food and drink? <laughs> it does not work. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, Alexander, the uh, butler from earlier, is walking by with uh, a silver platter for, for Mr. Maxer. Ooh, eh, eh. Thank you, Alexander. Ah. It is it is a full plate of soul gems. Ah. Yo, I can recharge my um, drain health don't enchantment you know. on my don't you steel long sword. <laughs> Wait, so you were just drinking milk early? What what are these? Eh. Ah, uh, these things keep me running. Wait, Rosa, you do not see this, by the way. No, I'm heading back to the table now. <laughs> okay. He just crunches on the soles of the fall of his fallen foes. Yeah. Think of I... them like soul batteries, if you will. They're just think, batteries. Think of those. them as uh, five-hour <laughs> energy drinks casually. <laughs> what is a five-hour energy drink? What in the world? Don't mind the blended version of that cake you just had. <laughs> there, no. Okay, there are now no. three things that terrify me in this world. Paperwork. No, thank you. Whatever that <laughs> abomination of food is. Even is food. And that is important to the, the skeleton and him eating like the uh, three Crystals. gems. He is currently Watch drinking it. souls. He just eats the soul gems like Pop Rocks. <laughs> Basically, what we yeah, need to say, Trev, just the screams of the damned. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he crunches one, it's just you hear the the scream, bruh. Help me! Every once in a while, the Wilhelm a... scream. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna look over and just be like, "What was that?" Uh they get a bit feisty. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit back down and I'm gonna eat the second slice I brought over. <laughs> How can you continue eating this? It is just salad with sugar. Hey man, you can't can never yeah, go wrong with a good salad. Regular, salad. I will eat whatever regular salad there is over this thing. Ugh. I mean, you want a soul gem? Well, first of all, it is, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's just I don't a eat salad pills. with sugar. You don't you like sugar and you like salad, so I don't see why you don't like this cake. I. It, it's a, a really bad combination. It does not sit well on my tongue. Then it's like, eh. Uh, <laughs> on a different note, if you're offering, I think I might be able to use one of those to uh, 
run my next project. No. Oh. It was worth a shot. I, th I thought you were talking about the food in front of us. No, I meant the soul gems. Oh. She's trying to take my soul gems. Right. They, they, they can't be I, used for equipment once they're in the plate, okay? It, Fair enough. I mean, you probably could have requis requisitioned something from the quartermaster. Yeah, quartermaster, you go sign that paperwork. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> That's the reason why I've had to just quietly take care of my own stuff. I don't like paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, normal gems are still usable. And as I say that, I'm just going to like pet my bird, because why not? I finished all the soul gems. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to finish Wait. off the last the, the slice of cakes. Make sure all my plates are empty. Oh, yeah. well, by the way, so... uh, we we also have a new job. Um, oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. Let's just How say much? it's kind of uh, forced on us. I mean, how, how much did it cost us? How, how much does it cost? How much should we even pay? Do you know what a platinum coin is? <gasps> Wait. Platinum? Oh my. <gasps> yes, the platinum oh. coins. What the... Okay, keep in mind, folks, uh, they gotta you... take their cut too. So. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But, dear, let's just say platinum oh, coins. What did we get from our last job? Uh, you have not been paid yet for your last job. Stingy bastards. <laughs> I mean, I don't need money. <laughs> we got paid, but after I filed all the taxes in, uh, we basically made nothing. <laughs> that too. I'm going to stare at Damn the organized very government. blankly. <laughs> the goddamn the government. Gonna, like... You got the payment at least, right? She said she'll fax it to us. Okay. What is fax? Yeah, those She'll send are it like ec those are like super outdated now that we have sending stones. She said she'll pigeon it to us. There you go. Looks like a good old carrier pigeon. And last time I saw a fax machine, she took that we'll down for parts. The carrier pigeon company is called Twitter. <laughs> well, we'll receive it once we. Uh, come back from the next job. Mm. Which Anywhere. the other nations are funding and involved in. This one's going to be big. See. Let's just say it's just going to be a while. We have two destinations. But are they giving us rooms to stay in? Or in Platinum's? I don't, buddy. No, I don't ask those questions. <laughs> we weren't told those details. We still have to rendezvous. Hi. I... You act like I need lodging. I feel like Rosa should have taken like this rock job with all these know. questions he's asking. Why are you asking all the questions? Okay, <laughs> first off, questions. making statements. I'm curious, and you are our boss. You should be providing for us. Yes, but. Anyway, so. Well, you said what, the boss don't get on my pants like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, we're going to Escalia. We gotta go and check some crap out because some. We're in Escala. I know. Into the city. We're outside it at the moment. <laughs> then we go back to Tile. Oh. And solve <laughs> another problem there. Case you need a refresher, Tile is where we fought the giant wolf thing. Yeah. Which okay, they're bringing up the higher up. I gave in my reports, and they're going to figure out whatever it was. Well, in that case, I should probably give them my, uh... Yeah. Findings. We move out after lunch. Or we after move out we... tomorrow. We have a day's rest. That too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just pats the skeleton. Let me take care of the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Well, you know what you need to do, do Mr. Maxer. Ah, uh, yes. 
we have was it like fifteen platinum coins? One hundred. One hundred. In the bag, yeah. Wait. A hundred. Yes. Yeah. Who trusted us with that much? The people who know us. <laughs> people who fund us. Um, I would assume our employers. Excellent question, which is why I snatches the bag. I'm going to be the one holding on to this. <laughs> Where? You don't have it. <laughs> Treya still has it. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> why would you think I mean, in you any trust with the money? It's such a in any case, I could put it in my bag of holding. Re retcons my action, snatches the snatches the skeleton steamer. Yeah, no, each of us nah. carries some of it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean isn't really that our payment for the last job, or is this current job? Uh, current How, job. This is out of, no, this is out of character. It's and for a current a, job. Okay, if it's a payment for a current job, then split it Oh, no, that's how... <laughs> splitting it up evenly amongst the party? What is this, communism? <laughs> no, <laughs> who says that you guys are getting the 100 platinum? I would give it to whoever keeps the most gear. I know my character is good on gear, and I no longer need literally anything. Luck, except for the one thing I told Slick that I wanted. <laughs> it's not even like combat gear; it's just something I thought was cool. I would like to go to the herb shop and buy some potions. Yeah. Okay, that that would take you all the way to Excala. They don't have a herb shop. Rude. They get delivered. Yeah, I would like to maybe buy some room service. <laughs> well, in Escala, you know, I would like my payment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we want to, how good are your guys' morals? I'm lawful good. No, that's in character. Um, I know not to kill innocent people. Because if it's gold we're after, I can craft um. Absolutely Ooh, not. I if you're saying that in character, just immediately, absolutely not. I can craft tools to sell. I can't say how long they'll last, okay. but... Oh, God. Okay, no, stop it. Well, it's just yeah. capitalism, actually. Yeah, out, out of I mean, character... Just, just yeah, made was, in China. Yeah. Out of character, what I was getting at was um, the right tool for the job. I can craft whatever tool I want, and it lasts permanently until I craft new ones. So I can just sell it, craft more at a later time. Okay, no, no, no. It would be about I... 16 platinum each if we split it up between the six of us. Which is more than enough, platinum. I'd say. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, honestly, I feel like, armor. if anything, I'd probably just get myself some better weaponry. Okay, yeah, so, uh... I, I just want hey, uh, so one platinum to how many gold, uh, Slick, real quick. I think it's like a uh, ten what? for one platinum, usually. Oh. Yeah, everything goes up, usually, yeah, goes up by ten. Um, not here. Everything goes it's up by 500. ten. Oh, no. What? <laughs> here, one platinum is 1,000 gold. Yep. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah, we ain't getting paid platinum. Um, <laughs> look, they, they, look, they'll probably give us, like, ten gold this is just... each. Yeah. Oh. As what you guys are mean? having this conversation and people are clearing out, uh, so one of the another one of like the guards comes up with a small chest. Oh uh, yes, uh, uh, head of house. So uh, you forgot to grab your your payments. He sets it on the table. Uh, yes, thank it's you. it's not the biggest chest, but it definitely more of the weight is in the actual chest itself. Uh, you all are getting. 150 gold pieces each. So, uh... Oh, shiny. Uh, yes, and she even made some... She even got some for you, uh, Mr. Adar. Because she knows oh. that she will be assisting in this next endeavor. Someone say signing bonus? But how so much gold are we getting each? 150. And she also said that depending on uh, the note to Leona, you might be getting more for discovering a possible new species of werewolf, which is terrifying. 
but we shall deal with it. I was 10 out of 5, I was trying to eat me, yeah. I've never seen I mean, made out of bones like after a while. Static. Yeah, a Goliath turning into a silver alpha werewolf was not a fun thing to fight. No. Wait, no. I, wasn't it a wizard? No. no. it was a Goliath. It was a half Goliath, half human. Yeah, half Goliath, was, half human. It was big, but its eyeballs did squish very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> He's already given you all of your gold and has made his way out. <laughs> you know, funnily Perfect. enough about Quite that, nice. real quick, just short tangent. Funnily enough about that, I would have killed it if I remembered I had advantage on my attack rolls, because I only missed one of the scorching rays. Hmm. Don't get! Uh, well, you all have fun with your rest of the day. I'm gonna go to Escala and look around, just in case. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can find myself a new weapon. So much as yeah, I like this rapier, I, I need fine, to get this upgraded. So I will come along with. I napped on my way here, and it's nowhere near time. I do not <laughs> wish to ruin my sleep. No. Yeah. And in my case, I'm going so... to try and upgrade my armor and then deliver the evidence that I collected. Okay, so while you're doing that, um. Mr. Maxer, you, on your way out, uh, actually everyone make a perception check. Oh god. Everyone. Can I make an investigation? Can I make an investigation? Oh, perception. And, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's see I what everyone does. Nice. I got 22. Can everyone write down in the chat, please? Oh, yeah, I got a 20. I'll take it. That's a 6 plus a 6. I got 12. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> so... Dix? Uh... You actually recognize the sound very, very well. E. Edward, you know it because you've been around sticks along with uh along with Dread. You hear a cannon shot. Sticks, did, did you fire off your cannon? I swear it wasn't me this time. My cannon is only temporary. Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, the, Where are, the are we again these... right now? Uh you guys are currently in the mess hall still. I'm just gonna uh, tackle How? the Inquisitor down. Why are you tackling me down? <laughs> yes, Skelly. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna it sounds, get down. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, 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 uh, Mr. Maxer and, uh, Mr. Adar, uh, you guys hear something like a thump on the door. It does, but then, of course, it, the tackle happens, and... <laughs> Rosa, you're just currently eating away at your uh, salad cake. You're just seeing everyone freaking out for no reason. <laughs> this guy is everyone boring. panicking. Yeah, it, that's it. <laughs> just gonna holler over to her and just be like, "Sounds like someone found a new toy." No, I, I remember. I did say. I did say. I shouted out, "Get down!" Yeah. Yeah, and just as you did that, Rosa, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have you take. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage as you get knocked to the ground by someone landing on top of you. Oh no, six <laughs> points. I don't get to make like a streak of opposition or anything. Your dick save. Uh, no, you, you rolled too low on the perception check. You didn't. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it... yeah fi... <laughs> 15 was the DC. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <laughs> I request that you get the hell off of me now. <laughs> So, so Rosa, you pulling rolls off. Sorry, so, I uh, heard a cannon. And then God. you all look at you see Rosa currently face like face to the ground, and you see on top of her a very ash and a very ashen tiefling, just kind of like sprawled on her back. Uh, I, I try to get the the tiefling <clears throat> offer. Yeah. Um. Real quick. I Ashen, like as in like covered in ash, or their color. 
Uh, they're covered in ash right now. They uh, underneath it's a dark red, and their arm and legs are all cybernetic. I just okay, pick up the teeth. I would like cactus. to. No, before they do any of that, I would like to stand up with my strength and just like you know, <laughs> make shove a... them off my back because I don't need help. Make a strength check for me. Cobalt. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what? Oh, well, God. I'm I'm rolling to help her. Eight. Uh, see, I'm so sad. Now I'm because really of sad. This... I don't have my yo dumbass ability. For, because of the cybernetics and the fact that she's more of a cyborg, she's a lot heavier than you thought. You felt like I... fleshy bits on you more, but then you're like, what the heck is this? I roll a knight gonna... to get her get the tiefling up. Yep. <laughs> it... <laughs> Clearly, it, my uh, seven was just basically me like me trying, but I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, your really your seven, the rage. Your seven is more like trying. You're trying to rip off the arm more than trying to pull up. Yeah. Meanwhile, <clears throat> the tiefling is up. Trevelyan's gonna offer a hand to Vola to help her get up. Need help? Yeah. Sure. She's gonna accept his help. Oh. Yeah. And then, since I'm the resonant explosives fascinating <laughs> obsessive, I'm just gonna talk, uh, walk up to the tiffany and be like, "Ah, I know that sound anywhere. Experiment gone wrong, I <laughs> perhaps." Uh, it was a, it was a false fuse. I thought I put in a, a dud, but instead it shoots me in the face. I it's, definitely have that happen to me in my fair share of times. This is a five foot tall uh, tiefling in dark red skin. A bit like smaller horns, not like wrap around, but just just barely poking out of the head kind of horns. Yep. Uh, again, her uh, left arm and her both of her legs are all cybernetic. Uh, she's currently covered in ash and soots, as it sounds like it was a misfire. Damn, too bad I don't have uh, pressed vegetation. I have mending. And, uh... Not fix ash. <laughs> well, you're a small one. And you're... And you're own skinny. What is this? Uh, quite literally bone skinny. Paul is the skeleton. I'm six foot. Oh, hey, I'm six foot three. I now dom you. I mean, um... Wait, what? Is that what you mean? Huh? If that's the case, I'm seven foot. I dom you. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here. Tech Cobalt. Nice three ten. <laughs> But uh, I, 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 uh, perversion just... aside, um, is there anything that's like damaged on the tiefling that can be fixed? Or is uh, it just no, whatever. It, 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 let's just say she took a lot of force damage. I don't. Right I, here. I kind let of grab you, like a napkin and start patting down some of the ash. I off do. The I do cure wounds uh, on the tiefling. Come on, man! You're you're stealing my okay. thunder. I was like, ah, here, let me help patch you up. So, you're, you're you're okay, uh, roll, roll the dice then, Miss, oh, Mr. Mr. Mexer. And for Drad, you're physically touching her? I, I rolled like a... a uh, um, I have a two for heal. <laughs> yep, I'm I knew grabbing I a um, napkin and just kind of trying to brush the ash off the off the tea plate. Uh, as you brush the ash off and uh, you, like, you get the ash off and you touch the skin, it... You burn you. The napkin is now on fire. Oh! Starts clapping it to try and put it out. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, looking that thing is a heat cannon. Yep. Can melt skin right off of people. Of course, a tiefling would do that. Uh, yes, I'm. I don't feel anything from heat. That's why I'm so good in the forge. Sometimes a bit too good. Raising up her uh, left arm. Yeah, I've had my close I've calls. Never here. had a napkin go on fire. What the hell? Here, 
Uh, well, good thing I don't have skin. Where's your coat in? <laughs> Here, let's uh, patch you up, shall we? And as I say that, like, um, since I'm gonna, since I'm an artificer, I'm just gonna pull out one of my um toolkits and like a small, like little healing spiders is gonna crawl out and just be like, oof, healing energy. Um, I, okay. Uh, how much okay. will that heal? Uh, six. <laughs> Okay. Which I got two. I got that. That's makes three net ones in a row. Ouch. Yeah. In hindsight, I should have cast it at level two, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, in hindsight, you should start using real life dice because then you can just trade them out. I have one set of dice because my other set disappeared into the void. Oh, time and it hates. Me. And that dice. And that. Dice hates me, so. Uh, well, that sounds like you just need to buy more dice. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> let's just say you have caught interest in, in this tiefling because she sees all of your tools. She's like, oh, oh, is, what do you use for your cannon? He, like, lifts it up with ease. Oh, um, interesting. It's, um, a nice little mix of, um, Machinery and magic. I can essentially snap my fingers and there it is. It gets created. Um, oh, granted, it's, uh, it's a it's a beauty. Oh, well, thanks. If you want to come by the shop and see if you can help around, I'm always open for more help. Most of the other people they can't stand the heat. Sometimes I should most likely go check up on my get out of the forge. <laughs> Most likely you should catch up. Actually, I should. Uh, I cannot speak. I'm too okay. excited. The flame cannon works. I I yeah, better go up. check up on everyone else because that was a misfire. And yeah, uh, I have. Most, uh, most people just got burned alive, so I better go check on them. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, I'll, she just runs off. I, I'll, hey. I have a delivery to make, and I'll swing by. And sort of... Sounds good. She she bolts out the door. <laughs> After, and then you just see the, like the tiefling size hole in, right next to her as she walks out the door. Um, I'm just gonna cast while well, they're patching up. Um, Rose's character. I'm just gonna mending on the door, fix it. Oh no, the door's not. It's not the door that's oh. broke. It, it the wall it's next the, to it. The wall next to it. Then I'll. Do it's, it on the wall. You, if it's it, the, on the wall. <laughs> the damage. <laughs> The damage is too severe for mending to work. Oh, Sage. How okay. much healing do I get? Um, no, no one did healing like... on you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I heard healing on Rose's character. No. Yeah, well, That's I said while they're patching you up, I was going to do that. Oh, oh I, okay. Patching me up. Depression. Oh, I was, uh, sit still. It's fine, though. I'll be fine. I don't need your shit. <laughs> What what was that? Was that Halo? Uh, I I cast Cure Wounds on her at first level. What, okay. Everyone just do healing here. It seems to be a lot of people who can do healing. Good. I I'm think you'd be I, more yeah. stupid and fun. And <laughs> Aren't you a druid? Aren't you a druid? <laughs> I was yeah, a sure. druid, so I did. So I could heal focus. Yeah. But now I'm thinking I should have gone fucking moon druid. Well, I did say, like, uh, that I did have, when you were talking about wanting to heal her, I did say, like, I have cure wounds, but that's it, because that's all our professor gets, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the, the thing is, with regards to each of the healers, they're, they're, they have more utility in other ways. Their healing is just, like, a byproduct of that. Yeah. I, like, for, in terms of druid for, like, support, circle of, of stars. Oh my god, what just happened to me? Anyways, Circle of Stars is great. I love Circle of Stars. Well, yeah. anyways. So, and the art is beautiful. Oh, so like, 100%. I am, I'm going, after this, I'm like, you know what? I really th feel like I should get out of here before another crazy mishap happens. And I want to get a new sword. I go with a kobold to go to town. Oh! So we have the, we have the furball, the skeleton, and the kobold going to buy a new weapon for the kobold. Excellent. Yeah, you have a weapon shop. You actually just met the uh you just met the owner of the weapon shop. 
the forge. Yeah, th that's yeah. kind of where I'm heading because I do want to get like at least a plus one weapon. So Just looks for the building on fire. The weapon shops next door to the mess hall. Yeah, so like. I'm getting up and I'm, I'm just heading that way. Alright, uh, so we have those three going to the forge. Uh, yep. Red, I'm guessing you're going to be just staying behind working on your paperwork. Yep. Which I'll is currently right. spread across the mess hall. Yeah, once everybody still, as, as people start leaving and like taking their plates away, I just start putting more and more paper spread out against their spots. <laughs> Well, I'm just like every now and then I just go and get up to grab a snack and then I go right back to work. I get very yes. acquainted with the chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Apart from that, also, um, I also wanted to do like a kind of like a. I didn't tell you this part in DM, but I did tell you about the whole cooking part. Yes. But I want to do um, um, like something like, in like Final Fantasy style. I want to like slowly collect recipes. So if there's any recipes the chef has for me, I want to write them down into a separate if document. If you'd like, I. If you'd like, Bet. roll an intelligence check. Bet. In the meantime, uh, with uh, his spellcasting, uh, Trevelyan will actually say in Sylvan, uh, may the Thunderwolf mend your wounds. 14. Hey, uh, yeah, out of character question. Does our company give us a place to live, or do we pay rent on an apartment or something? Uh, you get no, you get it's here. It's all all expense paid. Think, yeah, we're think like, of it like think of it like the we're think of it as you guys. So. You guys are like elite forces covered by military funds. So you guys get everything you pretty much almost anything you want, and yeah. I don't. Also, Halo, okay, I don't so think anyone else... Mean, they would be willing to buy me a cottage in the forest nearby? Not that far. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> You'd have Probably to save up for that. You'd have to okay. save up for that with your own money. And for, does for anyone know Sylvan? Don't. I Sorry. think I do. No, I don't. Wait, do I? Oh, that's one of the language... That's one of my go-to languages, but I don't know if it's... Yeah, this that's always my go-to language, but I did I not get extra really? languages with this character. Yeah, I, 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 this character barely has any languages, so I don't think I have any, but I'm going to check. I common Druidic, Elvish, Giant, and Orc. Yeah. No, no one else knows Sylvan, so all, so you guys can see a foreign language come from uh, Adar's mouth as uh, the burn mark oh. on Rose's back and all of her fur just come back fully healed. I know Abyssal. Well, this is not Abyssal, it's Sylvan. <laughs> I, I exactly only know Comic A. and uh, Draconic. That's all I know. And for your intelligence check of 14, you now know how to make salad cake. Nice. Yes. <laughs> are the rooms, like, apart for the rooms that we get, are they, like, dorm style where we share, or is it, like, one bed, or is it like an apartment where it's a bed, a bathroom, and a kitchen? Um, it depends on who it is. Like, the Inquisitor has, like, Inquisitors get much larger rooms, but those rooms are usually uh, bunk rooms as they, they are the same room as their scribe. Hell no, I'm going to my grave <laughs> outside. <laughs> their grave is not outside. He's just I'm gonna, going uh, to my grave he's outside! Gonna, he's going to just buy a coffin. So, and then uh think of it like a small yeah you, you guys get like a small apartment like you have everything you need to do stuff you have space to live on your own okay, um, uh yeah you uh, you guys have your, before, your own places yeah, before we leave i also cool. want to get that salad cake recipe <laughs> i give it to you I'm I'm literally gonna end up being like my goal is literally to be the the cook of the group, because uh, yeah, I no, I have like okay. Fact, um, my character likes to bake. Ooh. My character likes to cook but in she general. Doesn't, she doesn't like to do it, but she doesn't do it very often. So she basically rarely bakes because she's used to traveling and not having the means to bake. All right. So now, sometimes, like, once a week, she'll probably make some cookies. By the yeah, way, my, you know, my uh, is like, uh, think of, like, like if you're out camping, 
he will literally just find a way, find a way to make stuff. Like once I get cooked utensils anyway, so I'll get them eventually. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah, you... town, I can buy you some. Oh, hey, yeah, we have money you... now. Can I yeah, cook yeah, utensils? Yeah, yeah, you. You can, you can uh, literally request I... my character to get you cooked utensils. I'm already in the so town. Before you leave, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say. Hey, look, I'm swamped with all this paperwork. Can you do me a favor and pick me up some alchemist supplies and cook's utensils? Yeah. Do you got the money for it? We just got paid. Yes. <laughs> I'm not using my money to pay for your stuff. Oh, wait. Did we actually split it? And I don't know how much we actually got. Uh, no, everyone got 150. 150. Okay. Then, yeah, I have the money for it. I'm just going to toss the coin to her. How much is, it, uh, is each tool? Also, uh... Point out that the scribe is the one who didn't know we split the money. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Don't Look. question him, okay? Just, uh, he's busy with paperwork right now. Um, he was at the table when we got paid. I probably wasn't uh, at the table. Oh, yes, I was actually. I, was Red, I? You do not, Red, you do not know the price of these items. Unfortunately. I'm going to toss her 100 gold because I, I just. I don't need the money. Um, well, a cook's utensils is one gold. Yeah. In the player's and then book, anyway. Alchemist supplies is fifty gold, so I technically take yeah, the hundred sure, gold. I'll, I'll take the hundred gold. Thank you for the extra hundred. They shit mine now. I never said you're gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you can so, certainly like, try, though. I just would not advise it. <laughs> okay, so who's going where? I'm gonna search I'm, around I'm going to the town. town. To uh, look and try to get any leads on what we need to do. And I, I am. will help him with that, but at the same time, I am going shopping. And I am going to deliver the hide and blood, and then go to the forge to not only try and get upgrade my get an upgrade from studded leather, and just talk up the tiefling. Okay. Um. Halo, do you want to do anything? Uh, he's just going to go to the town because he didn't really know what else to do, so I was like, eh, might as well check out the town. Okay. He hadn't been here long. I am uh, going to see if I can find uh, buy myself a new weapon from the Quartermaster Forger. The Forge Master. Okay, so uh, it seems like more people are going to go to Excella, so you guys done some more casual clothes. Instead of your work clothes, so then people don't get confused. And we'll see. Trevelyan actually keeps his outfit. Uh, he sort of just sticks with it. His... No problem. Sorry. And then we have... But however, uh, Maxer and Vola... It, I don't think going in your work uniforms would be a smart idea at the moment. No, I'm actually going to go to me and the kobold's room, our room, and I will change into my much more casual outfit, which will legit be kind of like what she's wearing in her picture, a bit more tribal. It's kind of like a tribal crop top that's blue and pink along with kind of like a skirt at the bottom and she'll don her jewels and stuff and then when she comes out to join you'll notice there's like a little sun tattoo she's got on her shoulder I believe that's her right shoulder Yes. Very tribal markings. And, uh, Mr. Maxer, uh, what about you? I have nothing else besides my work clothes. I go to the boss and ask, Hey, you know what I want to She's just like, You gave them to the laundry master. Before you left. Yep. I'm going to work. It should be done by now. 
Oh, really? I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, doing it, this is going to be hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, when Trevelyan uh, sees Vola in her outfit, he just says, hmm, looking cute for a, a, a walk around town. Who's that? Right. Sir. I'm just complimenting your looks. Then that's be flirty. As I roll up behind them both, in my uh, uh, trench coat, ready looking fly. <laughs> Are you talking about that purple trench coat? The blue and red one? Yes. Yes, I am. Pretty fly um, for a skelly guy. God, I'm so glad that song died off. Never again. I am not sorry, but I will admit that was really bad. I'm not sorry. Reese. Anyway. <laughs> Reese's not sorry. <laughs> Rolling out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I will never apologize for my really bad dad jokes, but I will admit that they're really bad most of the time. Well, it's Father's Day, so it is the day for bad dad jokes. Oh. Touche. <laughs> oh, my dad, my dad never know. made um, bad jokes, so I might as well take up the mantle. I got this thing already. I have everything else ready. Are you gonna go out just like that? Yes. Yes, I am. Have you been out in town before? Like that? No. No, I have not. You... <laughs> no offense, sir, but you will scare the commoners with your skeletal face if you don't have something covering it. Ha. <laughs> I mean, we can try and just say that it's a skull mask, magical skull mask that he's wearing. True. Then, then they'll request him to remove it. Anyway, I, I put on a, uh, I put on my mask. They have a specially made flesh mask for you. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> flesh mask? It uh, it, it looks it looks like like it looks and feels like flesh. It's like a plastic, essentially a very, but it feels like it's actual skin. Version of my photo. Yes. I can just imagine some old lady goes up to him and pinches in cheeks and is like, "Well, aren't you a handsome man?" <laughs> <laughs> Please, so... I you stop it. <laughs> the so, voice changes too. <laughs> Rattle him, boys. Oh yeah, he no longer sounds like <laughs> or he not. He has like a normal voice, or he sounds like Crunk. Is... <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Shall we start going out now? <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be best. Are you saying that travel in? Dun dun dun. Anyways, <laughs> so this is great. Um, says uh. Let's hope we don't find someone who has a good a sense of smell as I do. Why do you say that? Well, I'm look. I'm just gonna ignore them and just start going. Yeah, and as uh, they go to the town, uh, Trevelyan actually mentions, "Look, I have uh, unique abilities, and my senses are much stronger than the average person." Oh yeah, okay, I have the same abilities. Somebody... A cute sense of smell, which is useful, except when you're smelling skunks from miles away, but, yeah. But oh. I can sort of smell the uh, lack of flesh on you. It's, it's weird. It's a long story. Honestly, I should probably give no smell, besides my clothes being, uh... He's probably been too old. Like, he's decayed, decayed. Then again, you just don't... Because you don't give up a smell is what he's smelling. He's smelling a lack of smell, if you catch my drift. Yes. <laughs> you don't smell, smell like a human, because you don't smell like sweat, so... Smelly smells. Yeah. On the, by the way, on the you don't, way you don't have town, the musky scent I'm going, word love. 
On the way out of the town, I'm going to request a horse and a wagon. So that way I could buy supplies and just take it back by wagon. Not a problem. That's easy for them to uh, get for you. And and you just... Did the rest of the group going to town want to uh, hop in? I'll, I'll or do you want to walk the hour? The edge of the town until we get closer Meanwhile, to doing yeah. paperwork. Yes, you sadly I'll got be... the short end of the stick on this one. I'll be here, guys. <laughs> you said All right, bye. Yeah, and yeah, jumps in the and So, as you make your way down, um, so, you are, are approaching the very, very white walls of the uh, city. Wow. In comparison to the meeker inner city, there's a lot of factories at uh at work here is a much more industrial uh city it's not like super heavy industrial but it's definitely like a lot more steampunk style industrial like early industrial london basically yeah early industrial london all right and well, as Valian is uh, visibly uh, slightly affected, uh, he sort of just shakes his head a bit. Uh, the spells are not like to a normal person; they're not that. Sh the smell's not that strong, but because of the Adar line, it's strong. Yeah, <laughs> and. As you, this, the gates are relatively open all the time. I'm they, they see you coming in. They only see two people, and they just let you on in, no problem. The laid back guards in their, their uh, half plate armor, or with uh, spears, short swords, and their armor color is red. that he needs uh, well there's there's no specific alchemist store or as and most of it is towards the inner city there's just a there's a bunch of like smaller stores you have some bakeries uh the one that you're looking for is is alcazar's mystical stores as a uh... As the wagon keeps on going, I would like to hop off and go wander around, try to find information. I would like you to roll me a investigation check, please, while you're doing that. So, is it the prices in I got the it at 11. book, or are you giving us custom prices? Just custom prices, because I have a few different things. Alright, well, I will go uh, to... Okay. Uh, before you continue on, uh... Mr. Adar, uh, what are you doing? Um, Trevelyan's just with Vola, I guess, because he just doesn't have anything else to do. Uh, and sort of okay. looks on the top as well. Okay, if, since you're looking around investigation for you as well. Uh, for Mr. Like, Maxter, uh, with an 11, you generally hear things like, Oh, oh, there's been hauntings at the ports. Uh, like the the uh, manor uh, by the lighthouse is has put a curse on the land, and and you actually don't really get much else than that. All right, I would like to go to the manor. I'm gonna miss. Uh, I don't know if we'll pick an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I will get to that in a little bit. Well, um, so I'm just investigating, not just perception. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what were we going for again? Um, just looking around the mystical shop, seeing if there's anything of interest. Okay. First, 
you can go ahead and roll that while I describe what's going on. So, Alcazar is a a uh, Earth Earth Genshin that's like about like six foot, so pretty tall. Uh, he's he's a bit buff, and you see like a bunch of little kids running around the shop with parents. You you. You just have to like dodge out of the way of some like little flying contraptions. A lot of like toys around, and um, in like the front area, there's actually a little like kids a play uh, zone. Yeah, it's it's a general store. This sounds like it's Mr. Gorin's Wonder Emporium. It's like you could say it that way. It's a Tartarus style where it looks like a tiny little place on the outside but on the inside it's just huge and you can see like further towards the back there's uh there's more of the stuff that you guys need but uh, there's a like a lot of like stuff in general and or uh for that role since it is perception, not investigation in this case. Uh, I get the oh, 20. you see, you are going with the twenty-four. Yes. Uh, there, you see a lot of like candy. There's a bunch of like candy. toys, like t- like tinkering toys. Uh, you you just see a lot of. Cash, more casual stuff with the more serious stuff in the back. And back there, you can see oh, a lot of just, like, tool kits more. There's no, like, weapons or anything. It's just a bunch more, like, various sizes of, like, tool kits for different levels of expertise. What type of As, candy is there? Uh... There's like cotton candy, pop rocks, uh, rock candy, lollipops, suckers, a lot of like the really sweet stuff. Is there anything like Starburst or Mike and Ike's? Uh, there are stuff like that. They're just not named that for reasons. Yeah, well, uh, Trevelyan's going to get a few things of those. Does there have okay. to be no, that's probably going to be in a chocolate shop, isn't it? Uh, Is what? there any cream soda? There's a bakery here that sells chocolate, <laughs> Swiss chocolate, that has shots of Jack Daniels in it. That is not sold here. I figured. I was going to ask them, yeah. but you know. I figured. It's well, I mean, you can still. chocolate, though. There's. It's normal chocolate. It's just like the right, mass-produced kind a, of chocolate. I want to get some suckers into the cart. I'm going to grab the alchemist supplies, the cook's utensils. I want to grab a card set. I would also like to get some... This is a general store, so they sell food stuff, right? Yeah, like they there's like season like seasoning. Okay, then I want to get some flour for baking. You know, like eggs, yeah. flour, salt, everything yeah. I need to make chocolate chip cookies. Okay. You okay? And... Yeah, something else uh, for, for is uh, cream soda. Do they have it? Uh, they do not have it. Yeah, after looking through the store, Trevelyan looks visibly annoyed and he's just like, ah, dang, Nabbit, still can't find it. I uh, want but, to get a kit um, for Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Also, before we continue, uh, what type of uh, card set did you get? Did you just get like, like a, like pretty much you have anywhere from a kid's like learning how to, to, uh, like learning the alphabet cards all the way up to like, like full metal cards. gambling cards. Playing cards, okay. Playing cards. Like Playing Magic the Gathering? What? I love you now? Is there like a version of Magic of the 
She got Gwen. She got yes, Gwen. I... Gwen. No, it's uh, Gwen. No cards. The only deck that matters is the deck of many things. No question. Is there a Pokemon card? Uh, there is a card game like a mix of Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. Yes, it's I have actually. Gwen. <laughs> it's not Gwent. I did not go that far, but there is, in fact, a trading card game. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh with extra step. <laughs> oh man, I hope we pull uh, one this moment. One. Charizard. Wow, I hope I had got Cubone this draw. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, please give me 15 squirrels and I can kill a Elder Tor. I just made a squirrel commander deck. I would also like to buy a set of those. Just for the fun of it. Okay, uh, did you want to buy a, uh, Battle box set, or did you just want to buy like a? Give me the battle like... box set. Okay. And then I would also <laughs> like to get. Is there like shark tooth trinkets and shit like that? Uh, not at this store. You'd have to find another one closer to the coast, is or like a coast? gift shop. Is this like a port town? It is a port town, yes. Right, uh, Ixala go... and Tilla are uh, brother and sister port towns. Alright, then I'm going to check out here. How much is everything I just asked for? Uh, one moment, please. Because currently I got 200 gold. Yep, and Trevelyan will toss in a gold piece for his candies we got. You're not using my money to buy your crap. <laughs> no, I'm using a hundred of what you gave me to buy your crap. No, he said you're using you're for... using fifty one. You're using fifty one. No, he said fifty one's not the price. He has custom oh, okay. prices for it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> how much is so, it? Okay, so how much is the two hundred gold? Well, hold like hold up, one fifty. <laughs> Just give me a moment, please. So as you approach the counter, or this, uh, this the the uh, black Genshi with, with uh, a red mohawk just pops up. It's just like, "Hello there, how are we doing?" Hey, <coughs> sorry, I had a frog in my throat. I would like to get all of these items, please. Of course, uh, give me a moment to uh, look through. Oh, by the way, the alchemist kit is behind the counter. Alright, and I would also like to get an alchemist kit. Oh, no, uh, just supplies, not the kit, just the supplies. Yeah, it's called alchemist. Oh, well, that's what it's called. It's called alchemist supplies. It is the kit. Okay. Well, I mean, all the supplies are in the kit, so uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the, the name of the tool is literally alchemist supplies. That's what my proficiency is. It says alchemist. Yeah, it, yeah it's all in the kit, though. Yeah. All right. and then uh, so we. Okay, so we have like these. This little beginner one here. You see, like a tiny, like maybe like six inch by six inch kid style box. You have like a like if you're going to school for it, we have this uh, school version. It's a, like about foot long, a foot by a foot box. How uh, uh, this one is twenty-five gold. Okay. Uh, we we have your adventurer style, style uh, alchemist kit, running about fifty oh, gold. Oh. Uh, yeah. Then it, if you want to go, if you're far beyond your adventuring days, uh, we have a, a enhanced version of it. He pulls out this large, he points to a larger box, which is like two feet long and like one foot wide. I'm assuming that's not portable. <laughs> no, it's portable. No, I mean like portable for like travel. It, it's, uh, it's not the adventurer one, let's just say that. 
I know yeah. you're not there, but I'm still answering questions. I and then if you get the and get me a honey bun. adventurous kit, please. Adventurous kit it is. Ah, adventurous or just passing through. Adventurous. He, he pulls it down. Okay. And all this other stuff here? Oh, the battle box. I see you've taken interest in the little game I've created. It seems fun, and we get quite bored during our wagon rides. Ah, well, well uh, should not be much of a problem then. And, uh, there are rules. There's, uh, there's plenty of, of uh, pre-made decks for all of your, your concerns. There's uh, six of them in total, so I hope that's enough for your group. Oh, that would uh, be more than enough. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let me just total all this other stuff up here. Uh, mm, yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm. Making cookies? Yes. If you'd like, uh, we do have some special flour uh, if you'd like to have some. How much would it cost? No, oh, it's only like two gold more. Yeah, I should trade it out with the normal flower. Sounds good. Yes, it's been enchanted by our our local uh points to the bakery, our local bakery shop over there. And it just makes them taste so good. I would have to charge so much though because as they they ask because they charge me, I have to make money. I am a business. I understand. I only need enough to make a batch of cookies. And before, it's a special nose flower. It is... Okay, let's just continue on. <laughs> okay, don't so... I, don't forget, I don't know if you got it or not, but if you didn't get the cook's utensils, I need those too. I have my, oh, uh, adventure I have style. my magic cards ready. I, I, yeah, I got the cook's utensils. Okay. Uh... Which style did you get, though? Did you get, like... I got it pretty normal. much is the base... Okay, normal. Okay. The normal so... cooks utensils for traveling with. So, all of that together is going to be... Yeah. Uh... It'll be a total of, of 80 gold and 25 silver. silver. Yes. And I do have money for change, so do not worry if you need a gold piece. How much is the cook's utensils with the, um... Uh, the, cook's but... uten the cook's utensil by their own it was, on was just a few silver. Okay, so that would be... You said 85? Uh... 80 and 25. 80, 80 gold, 25 silver. All right, so, All right, so use, the, uh, use 50 gold and 25 silver from me. I'll, I'll subtract it from my thingy thingy. All right, uh, I'll use his 50 gold and his 25 silver, which leaves me with 30 gold, 30 gold. Land to pay through. Thank you for your services. He, he takes the money happily. And then I also, uh, think... yes. Uh, he looks at both of you. Well, if you are interested, uh, I have. There is a group coming in later on tonight to try out the game. Try out uh, the game, if you wish to learn a bit more about it, or do you just want to do it on your travels? It's still a ton I... of fun. What time? Oh, after after sun goes down, once work's all done, there might be lights, but will, they're not monsters. I will come in with some friends then. Wonderful! Can't wait to see you here. Uh, just knock three times, because technically it's after hours. I understand. Thank you very much for the offer. You're welcome. He looks at Ed Adar. Also, I love the outfit. He has he's wearing a similar like bright color outfit. He's like 
twinsies. <laughs> yeah, he, it's, it's almost twinsies. exactly twinsies. He's doing the finger guns. It's just like, I love the outfit. It, it seems so familiar. He just, like, pointing towards his outfit. And Trebellion just shrugs and says, Thanks. It's armor for my family. Or, well, it's styled. Yes, by it, the same people. It, you know, it's just a color palette, you know. Oh, well, uh. He's just going to seems... take my stuff and go load it up in the wagon. It's, uh, have a good day, and, uh, too. yes, yes, see you later. And then, after that, I'm going to head to the coastal stores to find a jewelry shop that's got shark necklaces. There's actually a, like, on your way down, you see a lady with a little, like, corner shop, just, like, she's currently making, uh, Shark tooth necklaces on the corner. All right, then I'm going to stop the cart, go over there, and go. How much for one? Oh, oh, hello. Uh, well, <laughs> are you looking for like great white? Are we looking hammerhead? It, mm, uh, what are you I'll... looking for? Hammerhead would probably be the best. It's a gift for my friend. Oh, a gift. Oh, well, give me a moment. She just reaches under and you hear just a little clatter, like a little tinkering, like, you know, like, like the clinking of glass. Oh, geez. Ah, there we go. You hear like a shaking onto it. There you go. That will be your one silver. And I will give her... How much is the gold to silver ratio? Uh, a gold to silver, a gold is, is only 100 silver. Platinum is is much rarer in terms of uh, how, on how often they find it. That's why the price of gold to platinum is so much wider. All right, well, I'm going to give her a silver piece. Thank you. Oh, and be careful. I put, I have some special spice to it. Oh, thank you. Adar, because of your nose, you can smell lavender on the shark teeth. And I'm going to take the necklace top back on the cart, and I'm going to be like, what else do we need? And you actually see Trevelyan sniff the air and is like, wait, is that lavender? I'm just going to shrug. Uh, I want you both to roll a perception check for me. Perception, perception. You are the lucky dice today. 25. <laughs> oh my gosh. Plus, what is my perception? Perception is plus six, so thirteen plus six. Nineteen. You both see a very familiar pimple looking skeleton currently getting assaulted by seagulls. <sighs> I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna walk <laughs> over, and I'm going to cast That's you. with animals. That's you, Max. Are you currently getting assaulted by seagulls? I did not! <laughs> so I'm gonna cast... There's a, a bunch of seagulls surrounding the skeleton going, Bye, 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 <laughs> bye! I'm gonna cast <laughs> with see. animals, and I'm going to go, Excuse me, my friends, why are you assaulting this poor man? And Trevelyan will also Beep. cast it uh, using his primal awareness as his first level spell. And he is also going to speak with them. Are you, yeah, so are you hearing? I'm speaking with animals. <laughs> so both of you are just hearing meat, meat, meat. I take off my mask. There ain't no meat here. <laughs> no, you don't hear it, Max. All you're hearing is just this annoying squawk, squawk, squawk. <laughs> hey, at least you guys got an answer from the birds. Last time I talked to a bird, all I got was rock, rock, rock. 
<laughs> me get my ma- get me uh, getting my mom ready to smack him. <laughs> me- meanwhile, while that's going on, I'm still uh, like waiting to go buy a new weapon. Yeah, yeah, you're still in mine. You, uh, Trevelyan just tells He's them. Still in mine. He's at a DMV for weapons. <laughs> just permanently in line. Uh, I'm going to have to request you guys to stop attacking him. It is yes. not very nice. Uh, if you if you'd like to roll uh, persuasion, uh, you you They're can either really both sick. roll persuasion or one of you with advantage. The hunter rolls intimidation. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can yeah, roll I... intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pers- well, we'll see if persuasion works first. Rosa, you want to give me advantage? Because I got a plus five. Okay. I only have a plus one to my persuasion. So go ahead. Let's go. We... Uh, natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look at... <laughs> you see them just... Like swirling around Mr. Maxer for a bit, but then they decide to all flutter back off towards the uh, mansion near the well, not the mansion, the large building near the lighthouse. Yeah, go steal something from a kid. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? I've been assaulted by birds for the past <laughs> 30 minutes. What did you do to piss them off? I did nothing. I was was walking. (laughs) I'll cast the cure wounds on you. So that's a Uh, 1d8. (laughs) It does not work as he did not take any damage. Oh, no, I, I was asking. Oh. He, he did not take any damage. They, okay. He, yeah, he, but his uh, outfit has been strangely torn up. We need you mending. Get into the cart. <laughs> 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 this is two hundred four-year-old man there, just crawled to the shopping cart. To HQ. To put my stuff away before it goes bad. You are welcome to join, or you can walk back. I'll walk back, but uh, I'm gonna investigate the manor real quick, cause, well, looking at it. Well, you you went to inv- that's the thing. You went to investigate the manor, but then you got assaulted by the seagulls. But I can still go over there. <laughs> Do you want to roll stealth you- check? I'm just gonna leave him be. I'm gonna go get him away. I'm gonna be like, Lazar, are you gonna come with me or are you going with him? I'm going with you. I. <laughs> well, boss's day out. Let's go. <laughs> Let's. But it depends on this next stealth check. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, let let me make a DM roll for the first time. Oh no. <laughs> Monk S. Uh, it's... it's not like they have a plus nine perception. I feel very tempted to use sparkles for this. Honestly, I wouldn't play me because it'd be really funny. <laughs> I'm going to use a different one. But on a on a side note, that old lady's like gave me mad vibes of that. Old lady that gave us a pie in the campaign, and I love it. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, they. Sweet old lady. Oh my gosh. I'd be assaulted by a civilian today. (laughs) Who knows? (laughs) You are. The seagulls are back. (laughs) Get in the car! Get in the car! (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, you guys just see. You just. As you guys are going off, you just hear her in the background like, Wait, wait! <laughs> and you see, <laughs> you see the seagulls. <laughs> it's sea- you see the seagulls back and assaulting him again. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Molly just looks at Vola and says, Do we help him again? Is she just going to stop the cart so he can hop in before starting it up? Yeah, and they get up to the... So the seagulls get up to where the old lady is, and then they turn around. Yeah, We're heading back now. I am I want in my casket now. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your, your uh, outfit is almost completely in tatters. At nothing to show. Well, luckily... <laughs> We have but someone there's at the party who has men We literally have nothing to show. That's the <laughs> issue here. Hey. <laughs> but it's fine, I'll just fix it when you get back. Okay. Okay, so... I'll just spend the rest of the night in the forge. Well... Work my way. Well, speaking of the forge, it's time to get to, uh... Fix and, uh... Bartholomew. Yep. So, hey. you guys... Like, after they leave, by the time they get into the uh, city, so an hour, is when you guys finally get to the, to the forge. Yeah. Um, just the so forge no, I was delivering the um, yeah. stuff um, first. Okay, so... Do that. Right. I'm perfectly fine with la- waiting a little bit longer. So Okay, we'll, so... We'll feel that. Well... Okay, so then yeah. you will be going just... down... down into the depths. It's not as pleasant going down here. It's much more hard stonework. And as you get to the level, there's a full metal locked door. And it just says drop off here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it. Out of my bag of holes. Well, I wasn't sure if I'd be like, all right, this is what happened. This is what we got. And it, there's a little plate a in front better. of it. Uh, in that case, I'm going to carefully take out the um, vial and that I drew his blood from and the hide that's in the evidence bag out of my bag of holding and just put it in the, in the um, library drop box. Yep, and as you do that, it just it just spins around, not just like slowly spins around, and a different plate is uh is there, all blank and clean, and that's it. Cool. Uh, like I said, there's not much. To, there wasn't really much to this area, so I didn't really want to spend time with it. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame you. That door sus. <laughs> that whole area sus. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Such a sus area. What you're well. In there. You're welcome. <laughs> hey man, scientists are fucking weird, man. So to the forge. I want you both to roll a constitution check for me. All right. Is this a check or a save? It is a check. Okay. No, I, I would actually know it's a save in this case. Right. Yeah, it's actually a save. Alright. So, Drad and Sil. Fucking spell. That's a dirty 20. That is perfect. And uh, for Bartholomew? Um, I need to make a pause. Pond- why? On save. What is going on? Uh, well, wonderful thing is that's a sixteen. Okay. Shit. So, so for so for uh, sticks, you're used to like really hot places, just from like the heat of the the uh. Like the forge and such is no big deal to you. Uh, Bartholomew, even though this is like your first time in the actual forge area, you're, the heat is not getting to you. Thick scales you, for the win! <laughs> you are sweating sure. profusely, though. 
It is hot, Do but I can sweat? ask. Do lizards sweat? I'm warm-blooded. Yes, of course I fucking sweat. Oh, Cobalt's a warm-blooded not... I did not. Yeah. Yeah, Cop yeah, he's not a lizard folk. If he was a lizard folk, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Oh, I fucking he's... love it in there. If he was a lizard you... folk, he'd be drying out. <laughs> Hey. Imagine a grung trying to go in there. They just oh my throw god. Up. Or the other fish guy, they just immediately drop dead. Yep. Dude, it like drives up like a prune. Hey, it's uh, about 10.32, so once it hits 11, I will call Bright. Okay. Um, at, at 11, actually, if you, we can also call Game as well. This is pretty much the extent that I have for the uh, first day, or first Some session. Nice little like setup for the future. Anyway, yeah, exactly. I'm, look I'm looking around like this place is interesting. Well, they never let I... me in here because they kind of zapped the last one I was in. <laughs> Let's see. Perception, passive perception. My pass, my passive is fifteen. Fifteen, minus, 16. Oh. Minus sixteen. Yeah. So, uh, you know what? Since this is your first time, Bartholomew, I'd like you to roll a perception check for me. Oh boy! And because you're used to this sort of thing, six, I'll let you use passive. <laughs> Holy shit! Twenty-one. Do you still want me to roll in uh, case I get higher, or just stick with it as is? Uh, if you want to roll to see if you get higher. Just, Hopefully uh, my luck has turned around by this point. <laughs> oh, one point higher. <laughs> that's that that's better. Yeah, that's you're one wrong. point better. Yep. And, <laughs> and the one point you needed to match to match the DC. <laughs> nice. Uh and what did you get again? Uh, I got a 21. Okay, so through all of this stuff and dodging around a very swingy tiefling doing a lot of work uh, she finally gets to you. Ah! You're back! Kelly, what you here for? Well, two things, really. Oh, I said I'd swing by, so here I am. But I also you did? in the market to upgrade my armor, if possible. Well, I can see what I can do. It'll be some time and uh, some money, but no big deal. I just need to upgrade to a better rapier. I can see if I can do something about that. All right. Uh, again, it'll have to be a little bit of gold, but... No big deal. I just got paid today. I'm, I'm pretty certain I'm in, I'm <laughs> going to be able to upgrade, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, well, I'll, maybe uh... I could. Maybe you can afford a little bit more. Well, let's Brad, see I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Never tell us how many people you just got paid. That's oh like the worst God. you could possibly do in New York. Got fucking <laughs> the worst suggestion, bro. Oof. It's like the worst thing you could do in New York is be like, I just got paid today. Everybody in the freaking. <laughs> Oh, really? Now. All over you. Yeah, literally, <laughs> everybody on the block is all over you. Oh, all right, so that means we get a little extra well, change. Well, I got a 10. I, 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 I feel like... <laughs> I got well, a 10. Well, you, you feel it, when these words hit your ears, you feel like, yeah, I think I can pay for it. I can pay a little bit more. I just got paid today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm so sad. I'm really I'm hoping it's a seven. really good weapon because it, if it seems a little off for like the price and the weapon itself, I may back out. <laughs> Thirteen intelligence oh, oh. means that, that even though I do have some moments, I I can be kind of smart. Well, well with suggestion, you you go yeah, along with it. Yeah, but you go you along with to. it. So yeah, you have to go along with it. So now you have to pay more for it, no matter the quality. Yeah, on a side note, I'm hoping Cabal's ready for that, because that's going to be one of my number one spells to use, that and Charm Person. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Anyways. Yep. Anyways, and then I'm going to uh, comment and just be like, and in my case, uh, perhaps we can work out a deal. I can 
help you out around the forge. I've got nothing else to do tonight. If if you need help, of course. Oh, well, I always appreciate help, as uh, long as you don't touch anything that you're not supposed to. Okay. As, you see, as you see this poor human just shaking from electrical currents. <laughs> just gets strolled out. Uh, brings back memories. <laughs> um, yeah. And in any case... Talking shops always but, fun, but um, I am quite handy with um, uh, some smith smith tools and tinkers. Oh, you don't <laughs> say. Yeah. She's going to. to she's going to do, uh, grab the rapier, and uh, she's going to take your armor. Well, let me see what I can do first before we make any more deals. Okay. Uh, Something to note, uh, I have expertise in every tool that I'm proficient in. Nice. It's pretty frickin' pocky. Uh, also, so I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw now. Works for me. Um, hopefully my luck isn't bad, because I can't add plus five to all my rolls yet. <laughs> Go figure. You are now charmed. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I love how it's someone picking on the small people. I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't really say picking on the small people. I mean, she, this tiefling's five foot. She's not that much taller than you two. She's just I'm two feet the, taller than me. I'm the smallest in the group at, like, three feet. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that I qualify as small. Yeah, I just want to make you guys feel good, so I, I pulled out sparkles for this roll. <laughs> We're going to start with, uh, with drads. Let's see what my rapier becomes. Well, uh, that is a great total. Uh, you pulled that's a 29. Or... Or their tool check with proficiency. Damn. Yeah, they they were the dice is a nineteen, natural nineteen. So that was a really good upgrade to my uh, rapier. Then I'm assuming. Uh. <laughs> it. It has. It's going. There's a bunch of engravings on it. It it looks really cool, and there's even a little gem at the bottom. Ooh, it looks very okay. shiny. As he's asking for a hundred gold. Uh, I pay a hundred gold. It is not plus one. Ha! <laughs> Get fucked. It's probably gonna happen to me, but that sounds about right. What is it? Uh. To be fair, what? we didn't specify. He didn't. We didn't specify which type of upgrade. And granted, I said make. My, my I, I, I really wish I had said I needed it, like upgraded a plus one, but well, I, I, the wording did kind of screw me over. Yeah, stronger. Well, lightning, actually, stronger. that that gem at the bottom gives you for any lightning based attack, you get a plus one to damage. Well, that, there is. There you go. So, so it's one. not like it's not like it's like it's a side drain. What the hell? I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty yeah. badass. It looks right. really cool too. Really yeah, so, really cool. Uh, it's probably based off like the um the the cobalt one I des I designed up that had like that really like like really dope looking fucking weapon. Yeah. yeah. It has on the side of it. It's like <laughs> it's your face on engraved into it. This is nice. I'm okay with this. Just let you know the normal price of it was only 25. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Justin. Judge, 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 Oh no. If you, could, you should totally let me know once the charming is over, by the way. Uh, charm lasts for an hour. That's no, fine. I just wanted to know uh, for when it's over, because. Six is gonna have a little quip. <laughs> so there's a bit of a problem. 
And isn't there is always? This, is this the first time that that Sparkles has ever rolled something that wasn't super high? Correct. Uh, it either rolls a net twenty or a net one. Which it just rolled a net one. Yes. Go figure. I did say I would help out, and I have expertise with every type of tool. <laughs> I, you know what? I, you know what? Just for that, I will give it advantage. Thank you. <laughs> Please don't roll that one. I get that twenty. That twenty. Called it. You said it right as. <laughs> yep, man. So that is a total of thirty for that roll. And uh, yeah, no, you. Uh, let's just say. Uh. <laughs> You have a energy pack. You have an energy okay. gem on the back. So, well, what that does for you is, is you can when you summon out the Eldritch Flamethrower, or even like whatever Eldritch uh, weapon you're using, like Eldritch Cannon, Shield Generator, or anything. Yep. Uh, it gains a. The distance, it gains a distance boost of plus 10 feet. Ooh, that's going to be super helpful for the, if I make it a flamethrower. Yes. And even if it's like the cannon, it gets 10 yeah. extra feet in range. Exactly, so that makes it longer than my freaking firebolt. <laughs> 130 feet. Yes. However, you have to use a spell slot if you want to do that. Oh, okay, so I spell slide if I need want to make it the extra feet? Yes. Fair enough. Yes, and also, for those of you who have not faced Sparkles, that is Sparkles. Yep, either rolls a net 1 or a net 20. Two Sparkles? Or sparkles I think is... rarely it's landed a dirty 20, but that's just as insane. It's done dirty 20s, it's Generally, it doesn't roll below a 15 unless it ends up being, being like a nat 1. It has a very hard time going in between. Yep. It is the embodiment of a traitor dice. Sometimes when he wants it to roll high, it rolls a nat 1, or sometimes when it's helping us, it's a nat 20 or a nat 1. Like, yes. Why do you hate me so? <laughs> I have no idea. So. Maybe it's because That's... I radiate, I have such bad luck, it radiates to everyone else. So, that's all ending. Everyone is now converging for supper at the mess hall. Well, real quick, right. well, once the charm is over, before, I'm just going to comment to her. I'm taking, oh. I'm taking my shit to my room, and then I'll meet the others in the mess hall with the cooked utensils, uh, alchemist supplies for... The scribe and the necklace for Bartholomew. Okay, and what are we going to do, Sil? Uh, once the charm is done, I'm just going to comment and be like, you know, you didn't have to charm me. And then if she permits, I'm just going to stay and chat until we convene because I got nothing better to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, even though she's busy, she's making time for you. And what are you going to say, Adar? Yeah, Corellian helps Vola get everything together. Oh, and by the way, uh, Alexander, the head butler, comes up to you and is like, by the way, uh, Lady Treya wishes you to bunk with the rest of your team, so you should be making room with Ola and Bartholomew. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Another roommate. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. They're already, they've already made a room. Uh, you're they actually getting a... Room, did they? They opened up the wall. Uh, don't worry, the walls are movable. <laughs> you go to your room and... It, you know like how in like... Like theme parks and such? Yeah. Like water parks, you have like that one door in between two rooms? Yeah. That's pretty much what's going on. So it's not affecting your guys' room, it's just... Uh, I started still. Okay, good. <laughs> so, as you all go, a uh, quick question for Maxer. Yeah. 
Did you take off your casual clothes? Have to. It's already ragged. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so dad. now you're back in your work clothes. Yeah. Yeah, and also. Yeah. See. About yep. his uh, what happened to his clothes? Trevelyan just says, uh. It's a long story that I'm, I'm sure we don't have time to tell right now. I got my he ass got attacked by eagles. seagulls. <laughs> um, why does everything, every animal want me dead? What I, when we get to the mess hall, I'm going to find Bartholomew. I'm going to kneel down and be like, I got gift. <laughs> gift, gift, gift. I'm going <laughs> to give him the uh, shark tooth necklace that Ooh. smells of lavender. Hmm. Smells nice and looks cool. Thank you. Oh, the Alamu? Yes. That uh, necklace actually was given properties. Nice. Oh. What's the properties? Uh, you have a minus one in stealth. <laughs> Got him. But... Uh, Got him. <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> I have just ball. been given a... um. Like, it's just set like a bell or something like that. It jingle jangles when you put on a cast. Yeah, it... But it, it, it's it, the tooth. It's the smell. It smells like lavender. It's the negative oh. one itself is the smell. Yeah. Oof. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to figure it's out how to do that. Is it? All right. It, you, you have a very strong scent, smell of lavender now. <clears throat> And about the seagulls, like man, it. those things are nasty nice. little critters. Uh, if you need your clothes also, repaired, I can I'm get that gonna pull out this, uh, yeah. I'm going to give the scribe his tools and stuff and it, the rest of his money back. Am I still doing paperwork? You, uh, <laughs> roll me a performance check. Performance? Yes! Roll it. What am I doing? What am I doing to this paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> you're done all the you're done all the I's and crossing all the T's. Bruh. Yeah. Bruh bro. It's in cursive, you, so it, you have to, have to make extra care. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and there's and no this eraser. Is, and you're also <laughs> sending this the, you're also sending this to Leona, the head state pretty much like your boss's boss. Can I get advantage for how long it's been? Because it's been several hours in campaign and in real life. Uh, yes, I will allow it that. But look, all I'm saying is that Leona is scarier than. Thank goodness. <laughs> <that's laughs> for... oh. I... I told you, I'm just radiating so much bad luck. I have oh, such wow. bad luck, I'm just radiating it to everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, you catch him, who, he is in the middle of a nap. I'm gonna place it down, and then I'm just gonna gently shake him awake. <laughs> uh, slowly puts the rifle away that he was about to shoot next to his ear. <laughs> he just looks up slowly and looks groggily and he has like dude... oh that's steampunk so the pen he has like the mark of the pen like on his forehead <laughs> Jesus you don't look so good <laughs> it, but was the paperwork complete though <laughs> that's the question <laughs> You no. Really? You fell. You fell asleep mid paperwork, and your drool has ruined the paper. Oh. Well, I guess <laughs> a long night. I guess I am justified in changing my nickname to Bad Luck Charm. So. <laughs> okay. Well, the issue I'll... is the bot is uh, the Havari bot is supposed to be exclamation point R to activate it. Because we have dice faded that's exclamation point roll, but for some reason Avare is responding to that command and dice bot is not. I will take Thank Avery you. anyway because Avery's the one connected to my sheet and not dice bot. Anyway. I forgot about that. 
I take up the paperwork that's ruined, throw it away, and start writing my own <laughs> report. <laughs> Actually, could I have casted mending on the paper to fix it? Prestidigation, mending, anybody got any of those? Uh, uh, yes, I, yes, he could cast mending. I will cast mending to try and fix the drool marks so it's not ruined. You fix the drool marks, but the paper's only halfway finished. Well, I can just continue uh, working on that. Yeah. Oh, he just silently like he just he looks up. While well, he's continue working that, I'm going to go back over to Barthamol and you, and I'm going to pull out this uh battle deck I found. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to read the rules. Okay. Uh, I will have to write up... I will have to send the rules to the chat because I have actually built this game. Nice. Give me the rules, give me the rules. Uh, I, 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 I found this fun into card game. game if you want to learn to play it with me. <laughs> it has six pre-made decks, so you can have your own deck. I just want to check something real quick. It's just gonna end up being basically Gwent in uh, The Witcher, where it's like we just do this from now on. <laughs> I, I yeah, swear, right. if that if that happens, I'm gonna be very disappointed. This is all um, what expect would would happen when you have, you introduce an entire card game. I did. I mean, I knew we were all nerds. I didn't expect this to happen, though. As a scout, as, as a I'm sorry, skeleton, you just said there this, was like... card games like Pokemon. <laughs> what do you expect? Can we not from just me? play magic? Man, Fuck I was you, working. no, I want my Pokemon. Well, luckily for everyone involved, um, was while there a my deck? Could I get a deck of kind of? But, um, while my homunculus is kind of like fine familiar, I can't see, sense what it's sensing. Or communicate with it telepathically, so I will not be cheating. <laughs> not that she would probably play, but oh, uh, that was funny. Is I, you know that... I will offer you a deck if you would like to join. I will you know, offer six a deck. a deck. I will offer both all of you one of the six decks. Ooh. <laughs> I will offer it to Trevelyn as well. One of the if decks he like, wants to join. I'll I'll take it and just be like, I'll look it over. Usually card games aren't my thing, but I'll check it out. Yeah. Okay, Re real quick question. Is there like a deck that's kind of like uh, Simic in Magic the Gathering? Uh, no. Aw, oh, dang nabbit. Y'all have uh, fun. Uh, I'm gonna take up some beef with the nature goddess because of fucking seagulls. Bye. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, well, I think I'll call it there. Oh, I wanted to go to the guy and play it, though. I want to play worry. the card game. Look, I have to write up. I have to write you the rules of the game first. I mean, you could just make it up, be like, D20 for this, D20 for that. I, okay, we can do it quickly. We can do it quickly, if that way. Uh, so who's all going to be going to the night activity of this? Because I don't think um, your thing won't take that long. Yeah. I mean, I'd be down for joining it. I will I'm invite Sticks and Bartholomew. Uh, the paper I will also but I won't invite play. Edward. I will invite everybody to come with. <laughs> except for the skeleton. <laughs> yeah, Trevelyan accepts. Does Edward tag along? I don't know Edward, if your I work is done. Or not. Okay, then yes. Yeah, no, yeah, no you, you have enough time because you were like halfway through, which only took you like an hour, and then you fell asleep, and then you woke <laughs> back up. So it just took you another hour. Which, it's like 8 o'clock at night when that happens. 
All right, so we're like so it's Bartholomew, Tre uh, Adar, Edward, and me. Is Sticks Max, tagging you along? Go? Um, I'll check it out. She's not gonna play this time, but she'll stay and hang out, check it out, and whatnot. Hey, Max, yeah. are you gonna be taking along? He doesn't no, know about I... it. We didn't tell him. I'm going back to the manor to deal with the rest of the shit. Me. <laughs> I the the coastal manor or the HQ manor. The coastal manor because I got fucked up by sea eagles last time. This time I'm wearing uh, my armor and I'm ready for them. I would like I, you to I roll. Did, a, did he? Did I'd he like respond you to roll when I offered again. to fix his clothes? By the way. Yes. Yes. Uh, I did, I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll fix uh, it later. That's not a problem. Your your casual clothes are fixed. Mm -hmm. He couldn't, but Six could not fix the amount of seagull poop on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's prestidigitation, which I do not have. Well, fuck them clothes then. <laughs> All right, let's sneak around these flying devils. <laughs> Just let you know, because you're in full plate, you're scale mail. You have disadvantage in stealth. I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't harm me. <laughs> They'll be fine metal. I'm just gonna well, go back to town to find a bunch of dead seagulls. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm pulling back out the dice. So, twenty-two. Um, twenty-two. Okay. Let's not pull out sparkles this time. <laughs> and if that didn't work, I would use intimidation. <laughs> well. Let's see what happens. That, oh, that dropped. How? Was the 22 with disadvantage? What? You have disadvantage because of scale mail. Yes. In stealth. The 22 was with disadvantage? Uh, I, I, I rolled it with on uh, roll 20. I don't know what it does to it. Um, uh, you just need to click it again for disadvantage. Yeah, you just have to hit it twice. Yeah, you just uh, need to click it again. Well, shit, I already exited out of that roll. Uh, disadvantage. So, 22 is the first one. Are you in the right game? Because I don't see you rolling this in the game. He's doing it on D20. He's doing it on D&D &D Beyond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I heard roll twenty for a second there as well. Yeah, yeah I you, heard roll twenty uh, as well. I heard yeah, DND. I knew it was DND bonus. I was yeah. like, wait, roll twenty. I see one of the rolls here. Uh, uh, <laughs> what did you get? Uh, do I have to roll again, ah, bugger. Yeah, you need to do disadvantage because yeah, of yeah. scale mail. Uh, all right, so I click again. We're doing yep. a stealth thing. No, no just, just him. That's the second. That's the second roll. You're good. Twenty-two and twenty-one. Yep. Uh, with the advantage. Uh, yeah, so 21, 21 would be disadvantage. 21. Yep. I still pass, yeah. though. Yeah. So you still got an above 20, which is pretty popping. Yeah, Not popping enough. Did they fish him again? They caught him again with a natural 20. <laughs> 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 It was not sparkles. What now? <laughs> you are assaulted yeah. by seagulls again. That's it. I'm using intimidation. Screw this crap. I have no meat on me, you bloody foul. Demons. You, don't know, you don't even know they said that. You just know they're squawking. I, I know, but I can kind of guess that they're like, want food. I have none. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, uh-oh, okay, uh, hey, for everyone else, I'm gonna save that, those rolls for now. For All everyone right. else, um, I would- Roll the 12 on intimidation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, let's, so you guys just let him go on his way, <laughs> you just see him stopping off towards the manor again, just angrily. I'm not stamping off, but that, he's I'm gonna walk he's very the angrily. Door, and I'm gonna knock three times like I was told. The door opens up. Ah, you're here. Come on, come on. I We're just starting. Like I said, I would. Ooh, that's great. That's great. Come on. And I will go in. 
you see like 20 people like they're all learning as well you hear off in the distance a skeleton screaming at fucking seagulls <laughs> so <laughs> you, you, actually they don't oh, hear anything yeah. they oh, don't hear anything yet yeah, far away uh one they're inside the building and two yes it's far away it's like you're like yeah like 80 feet from the building okay. is where you're at right now so I would like you all to make just a straight, just a straight roll. D twenty. D twenty. Straight D twenty. Galaxy die, do me good. Four. Seventeen. I got eight. Dice. Galaxy Actually, dice you know, going I'm gonna, in the area. I'm gonna write it down here. Okay. Okay, so so they teach you like yeah, yeah they do a good job at it, so you know how to play the game. Uh or or let's see. Or I get, and you're put up against other people. Uh for red, you win. Oh, hey, I won. Sweet. Uh, for for uh, Halo, you won. For Dread, uh, you somehow tied. Is that impressive or bad? Uh, lucky. Let's just say the store owner is surprised because he designed the game to not end up in ties, and you somehow tied the game. <laughs> I, 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 the store hey, owner just it? pulls back, and he's just like, "I uh, should so, not have happened." Whenever you get so a tie, I am a statistical yeah. anomaly to this guy. Yeah. Yes, and Rosa, you lost your game. Yeah, doing an infinite combo that uh, mandatory and doesn't ever end. Uh, <laughs> and Sil, you won your game. I was gonna say. I'm just gonna like power up to level seven and give myself another plus five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks, so Halo. after you guys Thanks. have been playing your games, like yeah, like some good, some bad, some like questioning, you suddenly hear like heavy male plate just running towards the door, just screaming. You just hear screaming. <laughs> 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 And then Trevelyan just looks at Vola and just says, It's what I think it is. Is that the seagulls you know we're talking? As you yeah, see probably. as you see a very you see a very terrified skeleton as seagulls are currently bitten have currently bitten into his armor and is currently hanging onto him. What? <laughs> She's just gonna start laughing my ass off. She's just gonna fall out of her seat laughing. She's just Martha like, only moved and then <laughs> jumped out of her seat to go help the uh go help the the skeleton because what the shit uh, about it. Can I convince the, the seagull that my ravens already claim had laid claim to him? By the way, Maxer, uh I would like you to take a total of ten points of piercing damage. Oh. Because they actually, because they beat your AC. <laughs> they have a, you have an eighteen AC. <laughs> Eleven points or ten. Once ten. Once calm down, she'll get up and go help as well. Yeah, and the <laughs> one that I was curious about: Am I able to convince the seagulls that my ravens already laid claim? Since my raven is uh. technically a bird. One of them will look... be like, yo, bro, what the hell are you doing? This is my turf. One of them looks at you. You notice I'm that the eyes. speak with animals. Oh, as you do that, you notice the eyes. Trevelyan was also on the floor laughing with Vola. <laughs> like, and he's just giggling as he just between laughs says, How did you have such bad luck with seagulls? I don't oh, know. <laughs> So, you see, well, that's all going on. I'm going to prepare to attack these uh, things. So, like, as, so as like, even you, just to get uh, scare them off. That's does the DM speak? Yes. So, 
So as Voli casts speak with animals, she does. She actually hears more coherent speech. One of them looks at you. And you notice all of their eyes are glowing red, and it opens. It opens its mouth, and you actually see unnatural sharp teeth, and its wings now expand out into clawed. Metal, metallic bony wings. What ah! <laughs> And that happens to all the seagulls. Um, and... Demon seagulls. Okay, can I just fucking and produce we will... flame oh, skeleton? <laughs> well, I, we'll do that next time. To attack, so. Oh, next time. We'll do this next time. <laughs> But since that is the end of the session, out of curiosity, granted, it probably should have worked this way, but would you consider a um, skeleton a construct for the sake of mending? I will have to think on that. That okay, is a very good question. For those who have come to hang out with us, we appreciate you guys stopping by. Um... I would like yep. to give a quick thanks to Kyle Barters for uh, following us. You guys have hey. a wonderful night. And bye bye. See you next time. And, and may the dice.